Mama.
Krishna Hare Krishna 
हम तो लुट जाए तुम तो भलो कर बना बाबा भैंडा नहीं है रास्ते कर राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम 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 हरे हरे ये पूरा लाइव हो ना कि हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामो हरे रामो 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 आपने तो दूधी बोलते हुए आपने ये प्रोग्राम दूधी बोलने की सुनना लायक है हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरी बोल महाराज 
Can you say something? Can you say something about Parikrama? Something about Parikrama? Yeah. 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 <coughs> Hare Krishna. So I'm out here in Parikrama. I usually come out here this time of the year in Parikrama. It's really ecstatic. It's very joyful to be out here in the association of so many devotees. We're having a wonderful time. We're visiting all the holy places, seeing, seeing the temples and the deities and hearing the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's very unforgettable experience. If you have not been on Parikrama, then you don't know what you're missing. It's really very wonderful to be out here on Parikrama. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. security to let away. I'm going to get a little Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare. This <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama.
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे परिशेष लोक प्रवेश लोक प्रवेश प्रवेशे लो हरे हरे मुकुंद मोरारी राम कृष्ण हय कृपा बोलो हरे हरे मुकुंद मोरारी राम कृष्ण हय बोलो हरे हरे मुकुंद मोरारी राम कृष्ण हय कृपा बोलो हरे हरे मुकुंद मोरारी राम कृष्ण हय नरसिंह वामन श्री मधुसूदन राजेंद्र नंदन श्याम सिंह वामन से मधुसूदन राजेंद्र नंदन श्याम नरसिंह वामन श्री मधुसूदन राजेंद्र नंदन श्याम गातना गातन कैतव जातन जय दशारती राम भूतन गातन कैतव शासन जय दशरथी राम भूतन घातन कैतव शासन जय दशारती राम यशोड दूला गोविंद गोपल वृंदवन पुरंदारा यशोदा दूला लोविंद गोपा वृंदवन पुरंदार यशोद दूला गोविंद गोपल वृंदवन पुरंदारा यशोदा दूलाल गोविंद गोपाल वृंदवन पुरंदार गोपी प्रिया जुन्ना रारी करामना शोभन सुंदर पोरा गोपी प्रिया जन राधी करामना शोभन सुंदर भरा गोपी प्रिया जन राधी करामना शोभन सुंदर भोरा गोपी प्रिया जन राधी रामन भुवन सुंदर पवन था को राम कन थर गोपी जना बस हे रावन कर मखन थर गोपी जना बस हे 
Ravanatha Khodha Makhana Tatkara Gopi Jana Vastraha Hare Ravana Tatkara Makhana Tatkara Gopi Jana Vastra Hare Brajara Rakala Gopa Vrinda Palo Chita Hare Vamsita Hare Brajara Rakala Gopa Brinda Palo, Chita Hare Bamsi Dari Rajara Rakala Gopa Brinda Palo, Chita Hare Bamsi Dari Rajara Rakala Gopa Brinda Jana Paya Hari Yogendra Pandana Sri Nanda Nandana Raja Jana Paya Hari Yogendra Pandana Sri Nanda Nandana Raja Jana Paya Hari Yogendra Pandana Sri Nanda Nandana Raja Jana Paya Hari Rajera Rakala Gopa Vrinda Palo Chita Hare Vamsi Tahare Rajera Rakala Gopa Vrinda Palo Chita Hare Vamsi Tahare Rajera Rakala Gopa Vrinda Palo Chita Hare Vamsi Tahare Rajera Rakala Gopa Vrinda Vrinda Pala Chitta Hare Vante Dari Yashoda Dula Lao Go Vrinda Go Pala Vrinda Vana Purandara Yashoda Dula Lao Go Vrinda Go Bala, Brinda Bana Puranda, Yaroda Dula, the wind of the Pala, Brinda Bana Puranda, Jamba Khan and Raja Padayana, Brinda Bana Puranda, Jamba Khan and Raja Padayana. Adam Bakana Narasa Parayana, Vrinda Vipina Nivasi Adam Bakana Narasa Parayana, Vrinda Vipina Nivasi Ananda Bajana Ananda Bhartana Premani Ketana Pula Saraja Jakatama Ananda Bhartana Premani Ketana Pula Shariyo Jakatana Ananda Bhartana Premani Ketana Pula Saraja Jakatama Gopanga Nagana Chitta Vinodana Samasa Guna Ranga Dhamma Gopanga Nagana Chita Vinodana Samasa Guna Ranga Dhamma Gopanga Nagana Chita Vinodana Samasa Guna Ranga Dhamma Gopanga Nagana Chita Vinodana Samasa Guna Ranga Dhamma Yamuna Jeevana Kheli Parayana Manasa Chandra Chakora Yamuna Jeevana Kheli Parayana Manasa Chandra Chakora Yamuna Jeevana Kheli Parayana Manasa Chandra Chakora Yamuna Jeevana Kheli Parayana Purayana Manasa Chandra Chakara 
गोपाल भद्र दस रघुना श्री जीव गोपाल भद्र दस रघुना चाय गोषण हरे कृष्णा हियर दी वैन और दी कीर्तन विल नॉट गो so but the devotees will go from this side after having darshan of the saranga murari thakur uh, will go right side there vasudeva datta prince sir there and then we will go to mamlaki from this side but the riksha will go back यहाँ पे वसुदेव दत्त के डीटीज है यहाँ पे शिवानंद सिंह के डीटीज है भक्त सिद्धार्थ सर से ठाकुर का पानी पहली बार परिक्रमा दिखा देते हैं बहुत ज्यादा रहे दिखा रहे और जो ऐसे छोटे से जो ऐसे करके श्री रूप श्री सनातन भक्त रघुना सनातन भक्त रघुना श्री रूप श्री सनातन भक्त रघुना सनातन भक्त रघुना श्री जीव गोपाल भक्त दस 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 रघुना ए चाय गो शायर करी चरण बंद चाय गो चाय करी चरण जाते
कृष्ण नित्य लीला करी ल प्रकार राधा कृष्ण नित्य लीला प्रकार आनंद बोलो हरि भज वृंदावन आनंद बोलो हरि भज वृंदावन आनंद बोलो हरि भज वृंदावन Krishna, 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 Krishna,
कृष्ण हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर 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 कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर 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 कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर हर कृष्ण कृष्ण हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर 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 कृष्ण
कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे
हरे कृष्णा अनाउंसमेंट है माता जी लोग इस साइड आ जाएं और जितने भी माता जी लोग राइट साइड को आ जाएं इधर आप जहां हैं उससे बाएं साइड को मतलब इस साइड को और प्रभु जी लोगों से रिक्वेस्ट है कृपा करके जहां माता जी हैं अभी उस साइड चले जाएं श्री गुरु चरणा
Shivati Bhakti Vedanta Pavaniti Namine I 
हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम
Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna. I ask everyone, please find a comfortable place. Sit down. We're going to be here. We'll have breakfast here. You don't like walking? Yes, so we've got two hours. So we're going to have some, begin with some kirtan. So we'll turn for a moment. Going to sing some bhajan. Where is it? What's the song? Gopinath, right? Want to sing Gopinath? In the songbook? Page 35. In the... Page number 35 in your handbook. Oh, my God. 
विषया दुर्जन शतका मारत विषया दुर्जन शतका मारत
Hare Krishna, all of you are having mobiles, right? Android phones are there. In that uh, Vaishnava song apps are also there. How many are also ha having that one? Okay, you are not having. Okay. What is that? There is one song, Nachere Nachere Nitai, Gauramani, Gauradvijamani. I hope you all know that. Open the tab. Open the song. Nachere Nachere Nitai, Gauradvijamani. Written by Vrindavan Das Thakur. ये सांग का नाम है नाचेरे नाचेरे नीताई गौर दीजो मोनिया राइट बाय ब्रिंदा बंदास ठाकुर you will get this version in mobile apps or Google, or Google search. Nitai? Gaurad Dijamani. Gaurad Dijamani. Nachere Nachere Nitai Gaurad Dijamani. Nachere Nachere Nitai Gaura Deja Maniya Nachere 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 Nitai Gora De Jamaniya Nachere Nachere Nitai Gora De Jamaniya Bame Priya Gadadara Shiba Shavadvai Bame Priyakadadara Shiba Shadvaita Bara Bame Priyakadadara Parishad Tara Ganajini Nachere Nitai Gaurade Jamani 
नजर नाचर लेता गोरज जमानिया नजर नाचर लेता गोरज जमानिया जे खोल भर ताल मधुर संगीत भल बाजे खोल कर ताल मधुर संगीत भल बाजे खोल भर ताल मधुर संगीत भल बाज खोल कर ताल म चंदन चर्चित गाय फागु बिंदु बिंदुता चंदन चर्चित गाय फागु बिंदु चंदन चर्चित गाय फागु बिंदु बिंदुता चंदन चर्चित गाय बाबु बिंदु बिंदु तन माला दले भल शुभ्र उपवेत रूपे कोटि कम जीत गल शुभ्र उपवेत रूप कोटि कम जीत गल शुभ्र उपवेत रूपे कोटि कम जीत गल शुभ्र उपवेत रूप काम जीत चरण नुपुरा रन रनिया चरण नुपुरा रन रनिया चरण नुपुरा रन जमनिया दुई भाई नाची जाए सह चर गण गाय भाई नाच गह चर गण गुई भाई नाची जाए सह चर गण गाय भाई नाच गदाधर अंगे पड़ ढुलिया गदाधर अंगे 
पर ढोलिया नजरे नजरे अनुताई गौरव भवानिया रहस्य लीला एबे प्रभु प्रकाशिला पूरब रहस्य लीला एबे प्रभु प्रकाशिला शिनिताए गोर हरी की शिमिंदा वंदा ठाकुर की शिलप्रपाद की गोर प्रेमनंदे निताए गोर गुनमानी और डांसिंग एंड डांसिंग with beloved Gadarhar on their left and Srivas and Advaita on the right, while their associates defeat the stars that surround the Gora moon. The Mridanga and Kartals are played and sweet songs are sung. The sky is filled with the chanting of Harinam. His body is anointed with sandalwood paste and drops of 
holy juice and a forest flower garland dangles nicely across his chest. A white Brahmin thread hangs across his neck. His form defeats millions of cupids and ankle bells jingle on his feet. The two brothers are dancing and their associates sing while Gadarha's body is pelted with powder. Now the Lord re-manifests his previous joyful Vrindavan pastimes in this Nadia. Now he enjoys on the bank of the Ganga, just like in Vrindavan's Dira Samira Kunj, Vrindavan Das tells you, for he knows it. Vrindavan Das Thakur Ki. So this is the, the birthplace of Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur. Uh, where, where is that Bhakti Vivek? Sagar Maharaj, see there? Anyway, every year we've been coming here to, to this uh, temple. This is Gaudiamak temple. And, you know, it's not easy to maintain the temple in this place. There's not a lot of people. And sometimes they get robbed. I remember a couple of years back we came here and they, they, they were in this very great difficulties. People, thieves have come in the night and they stole all their cooking utensils, whatever they could, whatever they could get which was of any value, they took it. So it's difficult to maintain temples here in the Holy Dham. So in that, those times a few years ago, there were just some older men staying here, ret retired men. In recent times, the Gaudiya Mad have sent uh, a sannyasi here, I don't know where he is anyway, Bhakti Vivek Sagar Maharaj, a younger sannyasi has come here, he's taken over the responsibility. And actually you can see you're sitting now on concrete. Last year there was no concrete, it was only earth. So they've laid some concrete Bhakti Vivek there. Sagar Swami Maharaj, apne Hare Krishna Maharaj. So, uh, he, the, the sannyasi now, Vivek Sagar Maharaj was saying that he wants to put in toilets here to have uh, latrines available for both men and ladies. So he's asking if we can also contribute towards that. So if some, those of you who are able, if you're able to contribute some contributions, it will be much appreciated. Okay, thank you. So, now we're going to have some speakers. Uh, we were going to speak yesterday, yes, yesterday we were in Janamuni's ashram. And Janamuni's ashram, the process is dashyam, right? No, vandanam. vandanam, vandanam, sorry, vandanam. So in Janamuni's ashram, process is vandanam. So we, we didn't speak really about vandanam process. So this morning we're going to invite His Holiness Bhakti Ratnakar uh, Ambarish Maharaj to tell us about vandanam. Namo Vishnu Padar Krishna Prishta Bhutare Shimati Bhakti Vedanta Swamnati Namne Namaste Saraswati Deva Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavari Pashti Adeshtare Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhara Srivasari Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare we just sung very wonderful prayers. One was Gopinath from Sharanagati or Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Bhaktivinoda Thakur was practicing this Vandanam very much. He has written so many wand wonderful prayers. Like Sharanagati, he is describing the process of surrendering oneself to the Lord in these prayers of Sharanagati. <clears throat> also, every day we are chanting 
morning prayers, Guru Vashtakam, that was written by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. And after every prayer, the author is given some benediction, like we are chanting these Guru Vashtakam prayers every morning. And Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has written also uh, blessings that one receives after chanting this prayer. What is the blessing of chanting Guru Ashtakam? Yes. Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur is writing that if anyone is chanting this prayer loudly every morning during Brahma Muhurta, he will receive the benediction of entering the eternal pastimes of Radha and Krishna after leaving this body. So Srila Prabhupada gave us very powerful prayers. If we would chant them, we will receive all the blessings that are there. Also we are chanting prayers to Lord Nisimhadev. He is famous as Bhakti Vigna Vinashana. Yes, he is removing all the obstacles on the way, on the path of Bhakti. <clears throat> so if you would pray to Lord Nisim Hadev, all the obstacles will be removed. So <clears throat> uh, also we are chanting the prayers to Tulasi Devi. And Tulasi Devi is so dear to Lord Krishna that she can fulfill all the spiritual desires that we have. There is no spiritual desire that could not be fulfilled by the mercy of Tulasi Devi. So we can pray every day to Tulasi Devi. We have so many different prayers and Srimad Bhagavatam also consists of so many wonderful prayers. Uh, it starts with uh, Queen Kunti prayers, our first prayers in Srimad Bhagavatam, big, big prayers, lo long prayers. Then next chapter is prayers by Bishmadev. We just passed the place where Bishmadev has received the transcendental knowledge from Jahnu Muni. And uh, Bishmadev is offering wonderful prayers. One of these prayers is Bhaktya Veshya Mano Yasmin Vachaya Nama Kirtayan Tyajan Kalevaram Yogi Muchate Kama Karma Bi. In this prayer, Bishmadev is saying that if anyone is concentrated on the chanting of the holy names during his life, by leaving the body, he will attain the shelter of the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. So it's very important part of our spiritual life to offer prayers. <clears throat> but there has to be a need. Uh, because usually we, when we don't have a need, we are offering prayers like mechanically. <laughs> Like we are coming from Mangalaritik, we are chanting Guru Vashtakam and we don't mean anything by chanting these prayers, just repeating them uh, out of tradition. <clears throat> but if we have a real need, we would pray from our hearts and we, very soon we will get all the blessings that are there in these prayers. <clears throat> so we have to have the feeling of need, then we would really pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and especially uh, this Vandanam is important for those who are <clears throat> very eager to make spiritual progress. If one has a strong desire for spiritual progress, he will, re he will really pray to the Lord. Oh. 
and Srila uh, Prabhupada was uh, repeating many prayers. We have recordings of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, he was chanting <clears throat> Sikshashtakam prayers. There are many recordings when he is chanting Sikshashtakam prayers. There are many recordings when he is chanting Brahm Samhita prayers and <clears throat> Queen Kunti prayers, uh, Shukadev Goswami prayers from the second canto. Kirata Hunandra Pudinda Pulkasa Abira Shumba Yavana Kasadaya Yenya Chapapa Yada Pasaya Saya Shudyantitas Mai Prabhavishna Venama By the potency of the uh, Lord, if one surrenders to the pure devotee of the Lord, by this potency he can become purified. Kirata, Huna, Andra, Purinda, anyone can, can become purified if he, if he surrenders to a pure devotee of the Lord. <coughs> so there are many wonderful prayers in Srimad Bhagavatam and Srila Prabhupada <coughs> translated and commented on the Srimad Bhagavatam, so we have to read, memorize, chant these prayers, and then we will receive all the blessings that are there. Hare Krishna. In the uh, case of Gajendra, the elephant, he remembered the prayers he'd learned in his previous life. Even even though he was living as an elephant. So Prabhupada said it's important to memorize prayers. And then he mentioned we have Brahma Samhita, and then he, like he said, so many prayers. It's good to memorize them because in case we end up in a dull elephant body or worse, somehow it might come out again. The, the, in the subtle body, the memory stays there. So it's sometimes devotees ask, why should we memorize these prayers? Because we can't really make proper prayers. We have to learn, you know. Most people think pray means give me, give me, give me, give me, give me this, give me that, give me that. Janam Dehi, Danam Dehi, Rupam Dehi. That's not prayer. That's just begging. Prayer means glorifying the Lord, you know. And and so those prayers we're given, and then we can get some idea how to pray. But it's w worthwhile because we don't know what might happen in this life that might make our next life not be... <coughs> you know, human, Hare Krishna. There was one American gospel singer named the Reverend Gary Davis, and he came and met Prabhupada in New York in the 1960s. He was quite a famous man, Reverend Gary Davis. He had a lot of recordings of his gospel songs, so he came to Prabhupada and he was asking Prabhupada, Swamiji, what to pray for? He could understand that it's not good to just pray to get money or to get fame or any kind of material thing, but he didn't know what to pray for. Of course, to Srila Prabhupada it was very clear what to pray for. And, of course, that's our chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra. Our prayer is, please engage us in your service. Please engage me in your service. So, it, chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra is both a prayer and it's the answer to the prayers also. It's the answer to all of our prayers when we're chanting. Today is also auspicious day. Today is the Vyasa Puja day of His Holiness Bhakti Tirtha Swami Maharaj. So devotees in Mayapur will be celebrating that event. And Kavichandra Swami is going to go there to Mayapur in a little while. 
to take part in the festival there. So Bhakti Tirtha Swami did a lot of wonderful preaching on behalf of Srila Prabhupada. He was a black-bodied American. He joined the New York Temple in Brooklyn, the old Brooklyn Temple, Henry Street, in the 1970s. He was a graduate from Princeton University. He was not some illiterate hippie. He was from, you know, very well educated, Ivy League education, and he had a very good job. And he started coming to the temple. He met devotees, started coming to the temple in Brooklyn. And at one point, uh, Satsparupa Maharaj had written to the temples asking, is there anybody there who could take up the service of being secretary? He said, I need a secretary. At that time, Satsvarupa Maharaj was based in Texas and he was doing a lot of writing and preaching and he wanted a secretary. And so Bhak Bhakti Tirtha at that time, he was coming to the temple. He hadn't moved into the temple, but he was coming and we all knew him. So we told him, you know, why don't you take up this job? Go and serve Satsvarupa Maharaj. And he did it. He gave up his job and he moved to Texas and he became secretary there for Satsvarupa Das Goswami and he was serving him and traveling with him and he was doing a lot of nice service. Then at one point Prabhupada began, or he, Prabhupada wanted the books, the, the uh, Bhaktivedanta Book Trust sets like Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitamrita, he wanted they should be introduced into the universities and so they formed the library party and they were he was he was put on that Sasvarupa Maharaj was also heading it up and they would go and meet professors and they would introduce the Bhaktivedanta Trust books to them so Bhakti Tirtha Swami having a very good education from Princeton he was very good at that and he would go into the universities and he would meet the professors, make nice relationships with them and arrange programs and get them to take books. And then he went to Eastern Europe. At the time when Eastern Europe was still closed, it was still closed. Germany was divided, East and West Germany, and there was like a, a brick wall down the middle of the country. But Bhakti Tirtha, uh, he was engaged in that service, the, going into the Eastern Europe and introducing the books of Bhaktivedanta Book Trust there. And he did very, very wonderful service. He sold many, many books. He cultivated many people. And Prabhupada was very pleased with him. Prabhupada appreciated very much his service. At that time he was still a brahmachari. Later on, after Prabhupada's departure, then he took sannyas. Actually Prabhupada had also indicated that he should, he should go to Africa and develop the preaching in Africa. At that time we didn't have anything really going on in Nigeria or Ghana or anywhere. There was only one center in Nairobi, the, in Mombasa. That was about all, all, all was going on in Africa. Maybe, oh, South Africa, there was a temple in Durban. But anyway, Bhakti Tirtha was then sent, to, he went over to Africa and he did pioneering preaching there in Africa. And he became like a, like a king there. The, he was worshipped like a king. The, the people, the local African people, they made him like one of the rulers there in Africa. But still, he would sometimes come back to the West. I remember uh, Srila Rameshwara Prabhu was describing, he said at one point, they were in, devotees had been invited on a television program there in America, and they wanted somebody to go on this show. But the program was really, it was one of these programs where the person who hosts the show is super nasty. 
and they can, they, you know, they, whatever you say, they'll just cut you to pieces and they'll make you feel really low. Yeah, you know, they, they, you know, you get these kind of programs where people are really good at insulting other people. So they, they wanted the devotees to go on to the short program. They wanted someone to do it. And so they, they called Bhakti Tirthar Swami to come. Rameshwara said, you're the only one who can do it. And he went on the show and, and the, well, the, the interview was so sweet, just became very nice and appreciated Bhakti Tirthar so much. So he had that kind of expertise. He was very, very wonderful, very powerful preacher. And he loved to dance in the kirtan. He was very energetic and lively. Uh, with Lokana Swami dance, doing kirtan, Bhakti Tirthar would become f electrified. <laughs> and chanting and dancing in great ecstasy. So today we're remembering him. It's his Vyasa Puja. Yeah, there's two things that his Prabhupada told him that affected him very much. First was when he was very new in the temple. At that time in America, there was still a lot of racism. You know, it hasn't really changed, but it looks different now. And there were very few devotees that were not white men. And he told Prabhupada, there's a lot of racial prejudice in the temple. Prabhupada said, don't be like them. And he really liked that. Don't you become, you know, because he never was. He grew up in the, in the ghetto, in very poor, only black people. Then uh, when he met Prabhupada, in Vrindavan towards the end after he's coming back from um, Eastern Europe and Prabhupada was always relishing the, his reports from Eastern Europe. Tamal Krishnamaraj was reading to them so Tamal Krishnamaraj thought so he was said he was feeling a little proud you know and Tamal Krishnamaraj was the day before he met Prabhupada and Prabhupada was rubbing his head and you know, just treating him like a grandson or something. And, and then it, so Tamal thought, I'll have him read the report, to, personally read the report to Prabhupada. So he was reading his report and Prabhupada was looking all around and talking to other people and not paying any attention to him. And then he was wondering what happened. And Prabhupada looked at him and said, you're not the doer. And he really liked that one also. He took it to heart. <laughs> so anyway, it's unlimited. He had such an amazing personality, he really know how to utilize it <clears throat> to attract Krishna. I, I've been to Africa, and he was like a TV star there for a while. The guru made a lot of devotees. In West Africa, there's hardly any Indian devotees. He only initiated one Indian. And in East and South Africa, there's almost no Indian, uh, everyone's Indian, and very, not so many African. But there the Indian population wasn't so much either, so he made so many African devotees, and they're still going very strong. You see Bhakti Dhar, Dhamma Maharaj, Srivas Prabhu, <coughs> quite a few others, some very good sannyasis. So we could go on and on, but... Uh, and he was wonderful on the Purkama with his dancing. And, but those two things you should take to heart. <laughs> You're not the doer. <laughs> and if people are criticizing you for whatever reason, don't be like them. Don't criticize back. You know. Prabhupada knew that he could take it, so he gave him the instructions. <laughs> Okay, Srila Bhakti Dirtha Swami Maharaj Ki Jai. Okay, we're going to go on and we'll have more prachar here. We have our Bhakti Prachar Paribrajak Maharaj here. Who, who better to hear prachar from than Bhakti Prachar Paribrajak Swami Maharaj? He's going to tell us 
about the process here in Mudadrumadweep. Maharaj will speak whatever you want. नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणी निर्विशेष सुनवादी पश्चात दिशतारिणी बंशा कल्पत कृपा सिंधु भय बच पतिता पावने भो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो महाबदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम पदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौरतिश नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधात शिवासादि गौर भक्त बृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नवदी मंडल परिक्रमा के श्रीमन महाप्रभु के सो होप यू आर वेरी हैप्पी इन नवदी मंडल परिक्रमा हाउ मच हैप्पी बिकॉज यू हैव एंटर्ड इन टू मदर द्रोमदे Mother Durma Vi Deep means this island increases the bliss and pleasure. That's why you have to be happy today. So Mother means pleasure, and Durma means tree. So this island also represents Dasham of the nine processes of devotional service, and. Mother Dromadeep is not different from Bhandirvan of Brajmandal. And this place is also not different from Ayodhya. Why? Because Lord Ramchandra came here. So Lord Ramchandra was here and he was under a banyan tree. And uh, he was uh, looking at Navadeep. And he was looking very, very happy and blissful. So his eternal consort, his wife Sita Devi, by seeing her husband's happiness, became inquisitive. That my dear husband, why are you so happy today? He said, "Yes, I am remembering what is going to happen in Kali Yuga." And Sita Devi asked, "What is going to happen?" He said that I will appear as Gauranga Mahaprabhu, and he said you also appear as Vishnu Priya Devi, and Kaushala Devi will appear as Mother Sachi. He said I will appear here and perform my pastime in Navadip. Then at the age of 24, I will take sannyas. By hearing that, Sita Devi was not so happy, and she said, "If you have to take sannyas, then why to get married?" It's a good, it's a good argument. Then Lord Ramchandra said that I will tell you something very, very confidential. He said that in my past time, means Lord Ramchandra is telling, in the future. you will go to the forest and i will worship your golden form in ayodhya nagari in reciprocation of that when i'll appear as goranga mahaprabhu i will go to the forest 
and you will worship my golden form. So Mahaprabhu is very merciful, right? Lord Ramchandra, he said that Sita Devi will go to the forest in his pastime. But when Goranga Mahaprabhu came, he did not tell Vishnu Priya Devi to go to the forest. Rather, he went to the forest. But whether Lord Ramchandra went to the forest, or Mahaprabhu went to the forest, or Sita Devi went to the forest, the principle is that Mahaprabhu said, this is the mood of Vipralambha. Love in separation. So Mahaprabhu came in this world to teach us love in separation. Juga itam nimeshena chakshusha pabrisha itam sunna itam jagat sarvam govinda virahena. This is the mood of Vrindavan. One moment of separation is like a juga, and one juga of union is like a moment. That is the symptom of Braja Prema Bhakti. All of you know that Braja Basis, the mainly the gopis, they are condemning the Creator. Why? Because Krishna has unlimited beauty. How much beauty Krishna has? Unlimited. Ananta. Unlimited. It means it cannot be measured. And second thing is that it is always increasing. Beauty of this world decreases, right? That is a sad part of this world. Everything reduces except our desires. So, when Radharani looks at Krishna, Krishna's beauty increases and is going on eternally. That's why Krishna also doesn't know how beautiful he is. So, gopis were condemning the Creator that in order to see that unlimited beauty of Krishna, the Creator should have given unlimited number of eyes. But somehow, he gave us only two eyes. Unfortunately, the Creator also doesn't know how to create these two eyes also. The Creator has given eyelids. And for the gopis, the dropping of the eyelid is like a juga of separation. Right? So, is for us, it's very, very difficult to understand. How many of you can understand? You cannot understand. Because it cannot be understood. So, for the gopis, dropping of the eyelid is like a juga, and they are experiencing unlimited pain in separation from the Lord. And for us, Dropping of eyelid is very wonderful experience, <laughs> especially during the class, right? <laughs> and we thank God, and we thank the Creator that yes, you have done wonderful job by giving these eyelids. And they also thank God. I don't know why during Bhagavatam class and during Katha the eyelids become very heavy, <laughs> and it gives very wonderful experience. So that is our situation. And the situation of the gopis are completely at a different platform. Because they are experiencing love in separation. Topmost position. So Lord Ramchandra revealed that confidential aspect of love in separation in this island. That's why this island is very, very important for us. Because the confidential aspect of Mahaprabhu's teaching, love in separation, was revealed by Lord Ramchandra in this world, in this island of Madhudramadip. So why this island is known as Madhudramadip? Madhu means pleasure. The pleasure of Lord Ramchandra and all others were increased under the tree, Banyan tree. That's why this island name is Madhudramadip. So that 
banyan tree is known as rambat rambat means banyan tree under which lord ramchandra was experiencing the pleasure so that banyan tree disappeared from our vision so we are searching for that banyan tree so if anybody from this group if you could see that banyan tree please let us know <laughs> because that is a very wonderful place of past time goswami is a vrindavan that discovered all the places of past times many places of past times of krishna bhakti vinod thakur and other acharyas also discovered many places of past times in navadvip mandal but this rambat the location is not identified yet so if some fortunate soul advanced devotee pure devotee if you could can find that bot that will be very very important service to navadvip dham so this island also represent dashyam dashyam means servant and this is the most important aspect of devotional service because that is there in every rasa because we are servants right for how long jive sarupai krishna nitya das whether you like or don't like we are the servants and we are the servant of krishna krishna is the eternal master and we are the eternal servant but in this world the position of servant is not appreciated right in this world people have a tendency a strong desire to become master so which is more glorious to become master or to become servant what to do philosophically is like that that we have to be the servant but why that is revealed in this island the glory of the glories of service in the spiritual world the real master the supreme personality of godhead krishna he wants to become servant but unfortunate condition souls in this world they want to become master so prabhupad said that i have given a process on behalf of the previous acharyas by which a person can become greater than god people in this world they want to become god but prabhupad is telling that the process of devotional service can make a person greater than god why because krishna is all attractive he attracts everyone but the prema bhakti the love of god head as a quality that quality is called shri krishna akarshani the all attractive krishna is attracted by love specially love of the brajavasis and most specifically love of the braj gopis that's why krishna wanted to become a devotee like the braj gopis and specially shrimati radha rani so service is very very important so as this island is connected with lord ramachandra so we will discuss some of the aspects of different servants of lord ram in what mood they serve lord ramachandra the characters in ramayan are glorious why because the character in ramayan is full of sacrifice sacrifice makes a person glorious enjoyment positions these are the not the things make a person glorious what kind of sacrifice one makes that determines a person glorious 
This is the place of Basudev Datta. So Basudev Datta appealed to the Lord, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that my dear Lord, I have a request to you. And he said that I am feeling a lot of pain in my heart by seeing the miseries and sufferings of the conditioned souls in this world. So my proposal is that please give all the sufferings of all these conditioned souls in this universe and deliver all of them and I am ready to suffer the reaction of their sinful activities in hellish planet eternally. That is Vasudev Datta. And Mahaprabhu said, Vasudev, your desire is enough. The Lord's desire is always fulfilled. But Krishna makes sure that his pure devotee's desire is also fulfilled. All the time he does that. And he said, Vasudev, by your desire already, all the living entities in this universe are delivered. See the power of pure devotional service. The whole universe got delivered. So, Lord Ramchandra is the ideal master. And his devotees, his servants are the ideal servants. Time is limited. I will narrate one pastime each for uh, Hanuman, Lakshmana and Bibishana. So how many of you are in this island doing Parikrama for the first time? Okay, very good. Because I speak those these pastimes every year. So those who are attending before, so they must be knowing all this past time. But knowing is not enough, hearing again and again is very important. So that it will sink in our system and we can realize it and apply it and make our life successful. So you can start with Hanuman. So Lord Ramchandra, he made a book. And in that book, he has mentioned the names of different devotees, wonderful devotees. Those who remember Lord Ramchandra all the time. Great devotees. So he has compiled a book. So Hanuman came to know about that book. Just like Basa Puja book, no? So all want to find where is my offering, where is my offering. So Hanuman came to see whether his name is there in that book or not. So he was going through the book, first page, second page, he was going through all the pages and came to the last page, but somehow his name was not there. So Hanuman felt very sad in his heart, although he did not express it. So when he came in front of Ram, because Ram knows everything, what's going on in the heart of Hanuman. Hanuman knows what's going on in the heart of Ram and Ram also knows what goes on in the heart of Hanuman. That is the relationship between a pure devotee and the Supreme Lord. So he said, no, 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 it's okay. Said, what happened to you? You are not feeling happy. You are looking sad. What happened, Hanuman? What happened? He said, no, 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 something has happened. And he said, my dear Lord, I saw that book of your devotees. But in that book, my name is not there. He said, which book you saw? He told that book. Oh, you saw that book? That is part one. <laughs> so there is another book that is part two of that book. So you can go and check that book. So part one, I have listed those devotees, those who remember me all the time. And part two is those devotees whom I remember all the time. It's not complete yet. So Hanuman went to check that book, volume two, 
and he started to check from the first page and last page and he saw only one name, that name is Hanuman. So, so that is the position of Hanuman. Unlimited sacrifice Hanuman did for the service of Lord Ramachandra. Second is sacrifice. Everybody sacrifice in Ramayana. But the sacrifice of Lakshmana is unparalleled. So being servant is always glorious. Just like from Jagya that divine sweet rice manifested first was offered to Kaushalya and Kaushalya gave a portion to who? Koikei. And Koikei gave to Sumitra, Kaushalya also gave to Sumitra. Right? So Sumitra got two person. She got from Kaushalya and she also got from Kaike. So Kaushalya gave birth to Lord Ram. Kaike gave birth to Bharat. But Sumitra gave birth to two sons, Lakshmana and Satrigna. But the position of Sumitra is glorious. Why? Not that she gave birth to two sons, that is also glorious. Other two gave only one because she took the Sumitra at the end. That's why she got two sons. That's why this is very inspirational for the Prasadam service. Sometimes those who are serving Prasadu, they, th they think what will I get if everything is finished. So anxiety is there, right? But here, Lord Ramchandra is revealing, not, not to be in anxiety. So if you take at the end, you will get the most benefit. But the glory of Sumitra Devi is that she gave birth to two servants. Lakshmana, is the servant of Ram and Satrugna was the servant of Bharat. That's why Sumitra's position is glorious. So when Lord Ram was in exile, all other three brothers, they are all in a very sad condition, but all the three brothers, they are having their wives with them. Lord Ram was in the forest, but Sita Devi was there with him. Bharat also had his wife with him, and also Satrugna. But Lakshmana, he was alone, without his wife, in the forest. That gives a very significant message that for the service of Lord Ram he sacrificed his personal comfort. So sacrificing the comfort for the pleasure of the Lord is very very important aspect of devotional service. We should do things which Krishna likes us to do. So one Prabhupada disciple said, very wonderful statement, three words are very powerful words and that can keep us in this material world. What are the three words? I like it. Even a devotional service also, I want to do that service because I like it. That is not the mood. Lakshmana is showing. Lakshmana is doing that service which Lord Ramchandra wants him to do. Lord Ramchandra wanted from his heart that Lakshmana should come to the forest with him. But when Lakshmana proposed that he should go, he was stopping him. And he has given lot of wonderful reasons why Lakshmana should not come with him in the forest. 
And after everything was over, Lakshmana was desperate, adamant to go with Lord Ram. And he said, My dear Lord, I can do things only which is connected with you. I don't know any other things. So if I don't go with you, then what I'll do? Because I only learned, I got the training how to serve you. That service I only know. But if, if you don't allow me to serve you, then I'll be useless. So when he gave that logic, Lord Ram says, okay, please come. So devotees are very intelligent. But Lord Ramchandra in the heart wanted Lakshmana to come. Then Lakshmana said, why you are giving so many arguments? He said that I was just testing you. So that is the position of Lakshmana. So when Lakshmana, in the first night in the forest, came to know that Lord Ramchandra and Sita Devi, they are going to sleep on the floor and made on a bed made of dry leaves. When he heard that, his heart was breaking in pain. And he took a vow, if my Lord has to sleep on floor, on a bed made of dry leaves, I am taking a vow that next 14 years I will not sleep at all. That is the sacrifice of Lakshmana. So, sacrificing our own comfort is very, very important characteristics of service. Then, third is division. Taking risk for serving the Lord is division. So, division is the brother of Lord Ram's greatest enemy. Who is that? Ravana. So he thought that I am a devotee of Lord Ram, so it's my primary duty to spread the glories of Lord Ram. Preaching is the essence, but preaching is also the expression of love for the Supreme Lord. When we love someone, it is our natural tendency to glorify him. Propagate the glories of the Master, propagate the glories of our lover. That is our natural tendency. So those who are not preaching Krishna consciousness, it is a proof that they have not come to the platform of loving the Supreme Lord. But Vibhishan loved the Supreme Lord from his heart. And he, he thought that I should do something to propagate the glories of Lord Ram. And he thought, I can start the preaching in Lanka. The most difficult place. And that is our parampara actually. Nityananda Prabhu, when he was instructed to preach Krishna consciousness, he thought, if I make Jagai Madhai Krishna conscious, then everybody in Nadia will become Krishna conscious. Because Jagai Madhai was the mafia dons, right? And if they become devotees, and if they tell others to become devotees, out of fear everybody will chant Hare Krishna. So that was the preaching strategy of Nityananda Prabhu. Even the Supreme Lord preaches according to the strategy. We should not think that strategy is only for the conditioned souls of this world. Srila so Prabhupada also strategized his preaching. He thought, I should start my preaching mission in America. Somebody asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, why you went to America? He said that my God brothers went to Europe and they failed. So I thought I should fail in a new place. <laughs> Pope was so humble. And he said if I fail in America, that will be also glorious. Right? If you fail in a prestigious college, then you can say that I failed in IIT. So glorious. So Prabhupada thought like that, and Prabhupada explains that also, that better to fail in America. But if I succeed in America, then whole world will become Krishna conscious. 
that was a preaching strategy. In the same way, Vivishan thought, if I can make Lanka, Ram conscious, then whole world will become Ram conscious. So what he did? He wrote the name of Lord Ram in his house. And what a dangerous step he took. Very dangerous. Life-threatening situation. So Ravana came to know that his brother Vivishan wrote the name of my enemy in his house, in my kingdom. How dare he can, can do that? He was in furious mood. He was in anger, started rushing towards Vivishan's house. And he said, how dare you can write the name of Lord Ram? Not Lord Ram. How dare you can write the name of Ram? In your house, in my kingdom. You know what is the consequence of that? He said, Lord Ram, your enemy, I cannot understand. He was playing a major central. He said, you don't know who is Ram. Ram is my enemy. He is attacking Lanka. So, oh really? But this Ram is not that Ram. This is different Ram. He said, really? I thought that, uh, there is only one Ram. I came to know there is another Ram. So can you explain who is this Ram? He said, this Ram is different. So explain. He said, Ra means Ravana. Ma means Mandodiri. So Ravana was highly pleased. He said, I never knew that. That there is another Ram like that. So why you only wrote in your house? So you should write this name of Ram all over Lanka. Ram Chattva Bhagavan ke. Vivishan ke. Since that way, Vivishan took the risk. But there is a condition also. Please don't imitate that. Devotees become very enthusiastic to take risk. Bhopa said taking risk is very wonderful. But we should take calculated risk. We should know who we are. Then there will be problem, right? We should not think we are division. We are, we are like Hanuman. We have to know who we are. That's why one devotee came to Prabhupada and said, Prabhupada, I have a brilliant idea. Devotees always have wonderful ideas. So, he said, Prabhupada, I have a brilliant idea of preaching. What is the idea? He said, getting people in the western world is very difficult. But I am observing that a lot of people come in Saturday night club. And no need of invitation also. People just come there. And we can preach to them whole night. A lot of books can be distributed. A lot of preaching can happen. What do you think, Prabhupada, about this idea? Prabhupada said, idea is brilliant. But make sure you come back. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. So that's why Prabhupada cautioned us that we should take risk, but we should take calculated risk. And what is calculated depends on individuals, because capacity of different individual is different. But the principle remains the same. The simple of love is that we should take a risk for the service of the master and Vivishan exhibited that and he took his life risk to propagate the glories of Lord Ram in Lanka. So in that way you can understand the characters in Ramayana are wonderful and a lot of lessons you can learn from these characters and apply those lessons in our life. Sita Ram Lakshman Anuman Ki, Madhudra Deep Ki, Srila Prabhupada Ki, Shaman Mahaprabhu ki, Shiharinam Sankirtane ki, Nitai Gaur Pramanande Hari Hari Bo. Okay, thank you very much. Bhakti Prachar, Pari Prachar, Swami Maharaj. And now we're going to hear from Prabodhananda Swami Maharaj. 
ओ प्रबोधनंद सरस्वती स्वामी महाराज महाराज कौन से चावस अबाउट आई नहीं बोल ही इस ब्लेस्ड बाय सरस्वती सो वो कम ओके my topic was given dasyam but all dasyam was only to <laughs> spoken okay vagyana timrandasya gananya nasarakaya chakkhirun militam jena tasmay shri guru bhai namaha namo vishnu padaye krishna prasthaya bhutale simate bhakti vedanta swami niti namine namaste saraswati devi gauravani pacharine nirvishesha sunyavadi paschate desa tarine so this is the place of bundavan das thakur so bundavan das thakur is a direct disciple of nityananda prabhu and he is famous because he compiled chaitanya bhagavat krishna lila bhagavate kahe ved vyas chaitanya lila ro vyas Vrindavan Das. About the past times of Lord Krishna, Krishna's past times are described in Srimad Bhagavatam. पढ़ सकता लिखा हुआ बल्कि मुझे पढ़ने में बंगाली भी नहीं पढ़ सकता मैं तो तो वृंदावन दास ठाकुर इज इनकारनेशन ऑफ व्यासदेव व्यासदेव कंपाउंड श्रीमद भागवतम एंड यू रोट ऑल द क्रिसमस पास टाइम्स इन भागवतम सिमिलरली ऑल द चैतन्य महाप्रभु चैतन्य नेता है पास टाइम्स is written in chaitanya bhagavat nice of abunda me shivas thakur shivas thakur is another brother uh, and from that brother this narayan is a uh, daughter of shivas thakur's brother no, sorry narayan was born uh, as a daughter of shivas thakur's brother so he nice of shivas thakur and chaitanya mahaprabhu always like that little girl she was about 3 4 years old chaitanya mahaprabhu was coming to shivasangam and when he was eating something he was always giving his remnant in the mouth of narayani so narayani was so fortunate even when, when he started the sankirtan the moment he started it from uh, sivasangam and he revealed his sankirtan power through narayani because one day when he even told that this kaji is coming to shivas thakur and he will uh, then all the they will break everything of shivas thakur's house everything then will throw in gang ganga shivas thakur was little disturbed and he was in his dirty room meditating and musing and chaitanya mahaprabhu was in my pandit while walking in the bank bank of ganges then he just suddenly come there and just make a kick on the door door was open He told me, "Shivas, you do not know, huh? Why you are fearing? You do not know me. Who you are worshiping? Kahare pujis karis kare dhyant. So who you are meditating and worshiping? See, telling this, he immediately went to the Vishnu Asana and is revealed himself as a Vishnu Dev, sitting in the Vishnu Asana. Then he told me, 'You are not believing this. I, I appear to.'" to to reveal the sankirtan moment 
So if you are believing that you just see this little girl, then Mahaprabhu just told Narayani, so these people by chanting holy name of the Lord and by and reveal how to achieve Krishna Prem. Just simply this small girl started chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, and so much tears flowing from her eyes. The whole uh, this uh, floor was with it. So the Lord told from the home of that Narayani, this Vrindavan Thakur appeared. He told this is uh, the place where Narayani uh, was married. This is also place of Malini, the, Malini, the, uh, the wife of Sivas Thakur. His father's place. So in this way, uh, Vrindavan Thakur actually saw of Narayani Devi, but his father's name was not uh, so much disclosed with uh, some people's tale, but it is not revealed by Bhunna Bhandas Thakur himself. Because he, uh, he considered that his father is not so important because the mother was the greatest devotee of Lord Gauranga. So Bhunna Bhandas Thakur, in Mangala Acharya, he compiled the Bhunda, this uh, Chaitanya Bhagavat. He wrote, Ajan Lambita Bhujo Kalaka Badato Sankirtanai Kapitaro Kamala Yata Kyo Vishwambaro Dijavaro Yuga Haramapalo Bandi Jagatia Karo Karuna Bataro So we now must tackle this writing with Mulajan. This is Bahu Bachan. He same time, he is praying to both, both to Goranga and Nityananda. Karuna, Avatar, they both have uh, appeared just to preach this Sankirtan moment. And they are most manifestant Avatar, no, and they are most worshipful incarnation. Ajanu Lambita Bhujo, their hands are very large up to their, up to their Ajanu Lambi, up to their knee, uh, almost. Eh? It's thigh, but it's uh, almost up to knee. Ajanu Lambi to Hujo Kanaka, they are looking, uh, they, are, they, they look like molten gold, uh, golden color. Kanaka, Sankirtanai Kapitaro, they are always uh, chanting. The next person chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Sankirtan Kapitaru Kamala Their eyes are like lotus petal. Vishwam Haru, Diyavaru, Yugadharma Palu. Vishwam Haru, they are actually maintaining the entire universe. They are both are born in Brahmana family, Diyavaru and Yugadharma Palu. They are following the principles of Yugadharma. Hare Ranama, Hare Ranama. Hare Rama Iva Kevalam, Kalo Nasta Iva, Nasta Iva, Nasta Iva, Gati Ramyatha. And then they are preaching. Then he told next verse. Uh, Namatika Satyaya Jagarlata Sutaya Cha, Sabhutyaya Saputraya Sakala Trayate Nama. Uh, then he is paying obeisance to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Namatika, he who knows everything. Eh? Past, present, present uh, future. Because the so, uh, Jagannath is the son of Jagannath Mishra, Jagannath, uh, Jagannath Sutayacha, so Bhutyaya, so Putraya, so Kalatrayate. Mm. I am paying obeisances, he is paying obeisances to everyone. Dumanda Sakur, paying obeisances to his servant, servant of servants, he said, all his associates, he is paying obeisances. Then he told, Avatirna, Sukarunya, Parichinna Sadishwaravu Sri Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Dovhatara Vajay He told they are two brothers. Gauranga and Nityananda, they are two brothers. Because Vajanananda Vajayi Sachisuta Haila Sai Balaram Haila Nitaay. So they are two brothers and two obeisances. 
they are appeared in this age of kali abatru so because of they are merciful and they are so merciful and they merciful they are incarnated abatru so karunu parishinu sadishru they are though they are the supreme lord him, uh, himself they are supreme lord vishnu balaram but they are covered they appeared as a devotee and eh? just like we have heard maharaj he told well, what is more glorious to become the lord or become a devotee hmm? so they appear in this incarnation as a devotee and so ka parishinna sai shri krishna chaitanya nityanando do bhataro bhaje then he is paying or uh, obeying them uh, worshiping the both lords in this way bindavan das thakur eh he started it actually the first he wrote this book was named as chaitanya mangal he known as chaitanya mangal but we can chat to know the chaitanya mahaprabhu and it and all the past times we need specifically three three four books first book is chaitanya bhagavat then chaitanya charitamrita then chaitanya mangal then bhakti ratnakar is little there are some past times so we have so we have lochandas thakur later on he compiled also a book he also gave it name is chaitanya mangal so that's why the, all the vaishnavas they did the istogasti and they decided because bindavan thakur is incarnation of vyasadev eh chaitanya lela of vyasa bindavan das so better his book that the chaitanya mangal he gave but we give all vaishnavas they gave the name is chaitanya bhagavat so in this way but bindavan thakur is so humble if you see he told he expressed himself as the last servant of eh nityananda because vaishnavas das you have heard that gopi bharto pada kamalayo das dasanu dasanu das ivan lecture paper set 10000 time reduced hmm? das 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 hai chaitanya re das nahi chaitanya re das amare kiniya lo bhaja gaura hari in mood of nityananda prabhu and gurunanda shakho he also expressing himself as the last servant of eh? ah nityananda because of his humility he is expressing like he is also express, express his feelings like in that way ha eh? jivera swarup hai krishna ra nitya das ha eh? these are our eternal uh, so you have already heard about das ra so so bindava bindavanga sakur he is glorifying ha eh? lord nityananda more in chaitanya bhagavat that's why he is not get so much time to glorify chaitanya mahaprabhu the madhurila and antarila this only this if you want to know the navadi past times the earlier past times of gorunita goran mahaprabhu after we sanyas then we will we could know everything from chaitanya bhagavat eh but later on krishna das kaviraj goswami he compiled the other uh, book chaitanya charitamrita then chaitanya charitamrita specifically detail niche madhurila and antemira but krishna das kaviraj goswami told tare uchist karai char he is telling that i am just simply chewing the chewed by bundavan das thakur i am simply eating his remnant he is actually bundavan he told actually bundavan das thakur is a qualified person he is a, incarnation of vyasadev and he is qualified to compile chaitanya mahaprabhu's past times eh so he wrote he mercifully left some past times he could not discover describe them eh uh, in a brief so i may say in, a, in detail so i am she gave in brief just hints so krishna even krishna kabiraj goswami uh, tara uchist karai cha i am simply chewed the chewed eh so subhanandavan das thakur he is also is last just like a revolutionary if you read chaitanya bhagavat chaitanya bhagavat in detail he did not like this caste system this all this uh, <laughs> caste system jata gosai brahmana bhav brahmana all these things he ha huh? 
he is a Vaishnava and he is a glorified all the Vaishnavas and he wanted to everyone to surrender at the feet of Chaitanya and Nityananda. So, so he is the, he is the person who revealed everything about Goranga and Nitya and he, here is his, this is a place Vrindavan Sang, there is another place Denur where he has uh, ashram but mostly in Navadip Dham this is a Madhudrum Deep and you heard everything and uh, so Chaitanya Ch- 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 Rabhyasa Vrindavan Das Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Shri Rabhinda Vanda Shakur Ki Jai Shri Madhudrum Deep Ki Jai Namga Chiva धाम की सील प्रभुपाद की जय हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू महाराज प्रोफेसर से से भक्ति विवेक सागर महाराज ही इज द रेसिडेंट स्वामी हियर एंड ही वांट्स टू बिल्ड सम नाइस टॉयलेट्स हियर टू मेक इट इजीर फॉर द डिवोटीज व्हेन द पिलग्रिम्स कम बिकॉज़ ऑफ्टन दे गेट सेवरल थाउजेंड ऑफ डिवोटीज So he'll come round if you can all give some kind of contribution it will be helpful for him. <laughs> all right so we still have a few people to speak about in this here we heard about Krishna uh, Vrindavan Das Thakur the first temple we went to was Saranga Marari Saranga Thakur So Saranga Thakur he was living here he was this place is jungle there was nothing here they just tigers wild animals so saranga with in his old age he didn't have any disciples so one day chaitanya mahaprabhu told him you know saranga you're old man you have to take a disciple so saranga said well you know uh, t- disciples they're a headache you know isn't it You have disciples, oh it's such a headache to take care of the disciples. I didn't take any disciples. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, no you should take a disciple. At least you take one disciple. So he said, okay, tomorrow, the first person I meet, I will take him as a disciple. So early the next morning, Saranga Thakur was going into Ganga to take his bath. And it happened when he put his foot in the water, he touched a body. There was a body floating in the Ganga. So it was a young boy, teenage, quite young boy, like maybe 10, 12 years old. And he touched the body, and when he touched the body, somehow the body came back to life. What had happened was, young boy had been bitten by a snake, and he'd fallen unconscious. So the parents, they thought he was dead, everybody thought he's dead. but they didn't know so they put him on a banana boat and the system and they put the body they don't burn the bodies of young children so what they did they put the body on a banana boat banana tree or something and they had it floating down the ganga so it happened that next that morning saranga took his bath touched that body and the boy came came to consciousness and and so that boy came to live with saranga thakur he became known as saranga's morari morari was the name of the boy so when the parents found out they came and they came to see the young boy and they said you should come home we are your parents the but the boy said no 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 i already died you put me on the ganga i'm no more you're not my mother and father anymore this is my second life and so he wouldn't go home he stayed with saranga and he also became very great very powerful devotee so saranga morari he said they they would play with the tigers and slap the tigers and they were so fearless so the two of them lived here their deities were there another personality you saw there are three sets of deities there one set was saranga thakur's deity and then 
Uh, Vrindavan Das Thakur. We have to speak up. Oh, Vrindavan Das Thakur is here, but uh, Vasudev Datta. Vasudev Datta, very important personality in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastime. Vasudev Datta came to see Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he prayed to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Let me take the sins of all the people and I will stay here. Let them all be liberated. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard this, tears came in his eyes and, and he, he was so happy. He thought, oh, so wonderful. You know, sometimes we ask people, you know, they bring somebody for initiation. They say, Maharaj, initiate this person, they're good. And you say, okay, are you willing to take their karma? And they, no, no, I'm only introducing them. But you're introducing them to me to take their karma. Are you going to take their karma? No, 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 I'm not going to take their karma. Why should I take their karma? So sometimes that happens, so... Vasudev Datta had a different mood. He said, let me take the karma and I will stay here and let all the sinful people all be liberated. Mahaprabhu said, Oh, this is wonderful. This is the mood of Prahlad. You must be the incarnation of Prahlad Maharaj. And by the arrangement of Mahaprabhu, they were all delivered. The examples were given. Different examples were given. Just like if you have a bag of mustard seeds. So you have a bag of mustard seeds, right? We grow mustard in Mayapur. You know, around Navadweep, mustard is easy to grow. We tried. I'm staying at the Mayapur Institute, and we have land there. And we're trying to, to, to grow different things, you know. We grew rice. The birds all got fat. The birds ate all the rice. So many birds. I never seen so many birds. They all came and they ate our rice. Very difficult. You grow vegetables, the pigs will come, wild pigs and oh it's not easy to grow things because we don't like to use chemicals. So easiest thing to grow mustard. Mustard seed. Right? Bengalis love mustard oil. Right? Cooking mustard oil. Bengalis love it. So mustard's easy to grow. You get a lot of mustard seeds. So you have a big bag of mustard seed. If you lose one mustard seed, is it a big deal? No, one mustard. So in the same way, one universe amongst so many universes, this whole cosmic manifestation, the material creation, just like a bag of mustard seeds. So if one uh, because Vasudev Datta was praying, deliver all the living entities, let them go back to Godhead. Mahaprabhu said, all right, by your desire it will be done. And they were all liberated. Just like you take out one mustard seed from the bag of mustard seeds, not a big loss, nobody worries about one mustard seed. And so the same way, Every, everyone in the planet was liberated by the mercy of Vasudev Datta. Another example is given in Chaitanya Charitamrita. The farmer has a herd of Kamadenu cows. He has a herd, a big herd of Kamadenu cows. And he loses one billy goat. Are you going to worry about one billy goat when you have a herd of Kamadenu cows? Not a big deal, not a big loss. You lose just one goat. You've got a herd of Kamadenu cows. So like this, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was describing how he can liberate the whole planet, all the sinful living entities. They can all be delivered. Of course, the planet fills up again. After they're all liberated, there's so many more conditioned souls still here in the material world. So we need many Vasudev Dattas to take the sins of the people, to have that mood, to take on the sinful reactions, just like Vasudev Datta. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appreciated so much this compassion of 
Vasudev Dutta. And then Maharaj wants to say something. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm a Japanese. I, not so long. Uh, yeah, Lord Chaitanya said Vasudev Dutta was like a wing. If he had two, another one he could fly. And that Vasudev Dutta could buy and sell him in the marketplace. But just Bhakti Tirtha Swami especially uh, hired Vasudev Dutt and tried to pray like that and talked about him a lot. So that's why that's, that's all I wanted to say. It's an honor of Bhakti Tirtha Swami. We should all think like that because Lord Chaitanya said you don't have to suffer the karma. Just by having a desire they'll be liberated. So if you're, you know, preaching we get a, you know we get karma from people, but we don't have to suffer it, and we get more benefit. <coughs> Lord Chaitanya blesses, and, and so we want that desire that everyone will be liberated. Prahlad Maharaj same didn't want to go back to Godhead until everyone else went. We're just thinking, what about me? You know, let me get out of here. No, you won't get out. Compassion has to be there. So Bhakti Tirtha Swami Ki Jai and Vasudev Dutt Ki Jai. Gaur Premanandi Hari. All right, now we're going to have some drama. You need to clear this one. You can stay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu. You're saying Kirtan. Oh. All day I, I serve Gopinath and then I join you in saying Kirtan. Saranga. You must initiate. Initiate the people, they the people. Oh. Again. Mahaprabhu. Again, Mahaprabhu, you've ordered me. You've ordered me. Again and again, you've ordered me. I'm so unqualified, but perhaps you have ordered all right <laughs> tomorrow. The first person I see, <laughs> yes. One, one disciple. All right, the first person I see, I will accept. <sighs> Such a wonderful morning. Let me go for my bath. <sighs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was bitten by a snake. Who is this? How could I come back to the life? Who is this? You brought me back to the life. <laughs> what is your name, young boy? My name? My name is Murari. Murari? Well, Murari, uh, the first person. <laughs> Murari, you please take this mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Now you are Murari Das, and you will serve Gobinath. Ha! Yes. Thank you, my Lord. You are my spiritual master, Murari. Let us serve Gobinath. Yes. Oh, <laughs> we are visitors. Murari, my son, our son, you have come back to life. This is wonderful. Now, Mr. please come back home. Come back home now. No, no, I am not your son anymore now. You I are not. By snake. He's my spiritual master. He saved me. Now I am his servant. 
and now I am serving Gopinath. He belongs to Gopinath. Hare Krishna. He is now Murari Das. Oh, hello. He is no longer your son. Oh. You can go home and have more children and go. take care of your material. Hare Krishna. As they say, they easy they come and easy they go. <laughs> These pastimes took place here. But now we're going. Going to the next place. And again. I need the other mic. To suspend your disbelief <laughs> and imagine that this old man is the Mahaprabhu. Sitting in Puri. After observing the Rathayatra festivals, now it is time for all the residents of Navadweep to return. Nityananda will go to preach throughout Bengal. Adwaita will go to preach as well. And Mahaprabhu begins to remember all of the devotees and glorify them. Shivas, Shivas. <sighs> Particularly Shivas, I have something. Please take this cloth and this prashad. Bring it to Mother Sachi. Mother Sachi. Mother Sachi! You, you, you must explain. I, by my madness, I, I accepted this sannyas order. Leaving her, how I can leave my mother? Simply overwhelmed by crazy madness. And she sits there, every day, cooking. You tell her, you tell her that although she is cooking and crying, wondering, where is my Nimai? Where is my Nimai to eat? You tell her that I come. You tell her that I come to take those wonderful spinach and rice and sweets that he, she cooks. You tell her how that one day, as she was cooking and she offered the plate, she put it there to Gopal. And she turned and I came very quickly and I ate it all. I ate it all and she came back and she looked and she was astonished. Oh, the plate is empty. Well, am I, am I going mad? P perhaps I didn't cook or I didn't offer. Or... She went to the kitchen and saw the pots were full and she again offered to go pa. You just tell her this happened on the Vijay Dashami day and she will realize it is true. I do come every day to eat from my mother Sachi. Oh, 
वासुदेव वासुदेव डॉक्टर आ वासुदेव डॉक्टर योर ग्लोरीज आर अनलिमिटेड ट्रूली देयर इज नो वन इन दिस वर्ल्ड मोर डियर टू मी इन फैक्ट आई कैन सी दैट यू हैव purchased my life as it is my dear lord yes you are incarnating especially to save all the conditioned souls yes but i have one petition i'm begging you to please accept so you sorry. are all merciful and you are free to do whatever you wish so i'm requesting you If you want you can very easily do this. Please my dear lord. I am so much unhappy to see all the suffering of the conditioned souls. So please let me take the karma of all the conditioned souls on my head. Let me suffer in hell perpetually and this way all the living beings will be delivered. by your kindness by your grace vasudev vasudev there is no limit to your compassion it is no wonder you are the very incarnation of the lord but 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 just by your desire oh the universe is already liberated whatever a pure vaishnava desires krishna must fulfill and what is it to krishna <laughs> there are millions of universe like this number of tree there are millions of trees with millions of fruits if one fruit is lost what is the loss to the lord like maya's covered the creation like a bag of mustard seeds if one seed is lost what is the loss to the lord surely by your desire the entire universe is delivered vasudev data continue your worship and by your desire everyone will know the glories of the holy names of krishna hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare go sadam we request all the devotees not to leave because we are going to arkadila next stop which is arkadila so we'll have katha and 
then we will lead to our destination today. Hare Krishna. Those who are Hare Krishna. Those who are not yet registered, they can come here. If any devotee has lost his money, Lakshmi, कोई अगर भक्त लोग उनके पैसे हो गए हैं तो यहाँ पर आइए सब लोग अभी एक से नहीं पैसा नहीं खत्म हो महाप्रसाद गोविंदे नाम ब्राह्मणे वैष्णवे स्वल्प पुण्य राजन विश्वास नैव जायते शरीरा विद्या गणेन्द्रिया सायका जीव फेले विषय सागरे आर मध्य जीव के ताके जता कटिया संसारे कृष्ण मरा दया मय परिवारे गृह जाय सब प्रसाद नदी लभाय मृत पाओ ऋषि राधा कृष्ण सुन गाओ हिमिड़ा को नीचे कर निताय जय निमाय जय निताय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैता गदाधरा श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे जय श्री श्री भगवत प्रसाद की प्रसाद सेवन कार्य भक्त वृंद की हरे कृष्णा वन माता जी यस्टरडे केम फ्रॉम टोरंटो शी स्पॉन्सर्ड दी साधन 
माता जी कह रही प्लीज कम हरे कृष्णा सो टुडे मॉर्निंग ब्रेकफास्ट प्रसाद हम स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय श्रीनाथ प्रभु एंड उज्ज्वल व्रजलीला माता जी फ्रॉम टोरंटो सो वी वी प्रे फॉर द फैमिली बाय चैंटिंग द हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे इन परिक्रमा की ये माता जी बहुत भाग्यशाली है टोरंटो से आए हैं और ये धाम पे आप सब वैष्णव को सेवा आ, को मौका लिया है तो आप सब उनके लिए प्रार्थना कीजिए तो भगवान उनसे प्रसन्न हो और एक मौका आपको लिए भी है आप जो चाहते हैं कि ऐसा इतना वैष्णव आपको घर में तो मिलेंगे नहीं और आप जो चाहते हैं कि इतना सारे महान महान वैष्णव को सेवा करे तो ये भी आपको आ, बहुत भाग्य है और भगवान को बहुत कृपा भी मिलेगा इतना वैष्णव को आशीर्वाद भी मिलेगा ये अपॉर्चुनिटी आपके लिए भी है आप भी कर सकते हैं और भी दो दिन है जिसको भी चाहिए है वैष्णव सेवा करने का आप भी मौका ले सकते हैं हरे कृष्णा सो दो आर इंटरेस्टेड wish to serve the devotees by sponsoring prasadam they are welcome whatever we are serving to the devotees serve with the right hand please today we are walking very short distance so don't be worry or don't be fast we'll go all of us will go to uh, arkatila 
there we have some katha, then we'll move from there.
पाता पुता ही चल गया ना उसमें चल रहे कृष्णा रेमनेंट लीप प्लेट्स विल बी थ्रोन एट द बैक ऑफ द टेंपल पत्थर जो है मंदिर के पीछे के भाग में फेंकना है सुमंगल प्रभु आखे ने खाने मेडिकल सुमंगल प्रभु आखे माता जी आखे पड़े गए थे
Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
हरे कृष्ण उठा 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 पहले
Sultan, who has a daughter, and we put in here and the Sri part of Vasudeva Datta is between here and Vrindavan Das Thakur's birthplace. There's nothing there. It's a ruins. It's except some ruins. I can see that on the way. So you can see that on the way. The president of Lord Chaitanya has done every devotee and they're mature. They should spread a Shishikata moment. The principle of Lord Chaitanya was that every devotee, when they become mature, they should spread, spread the Krishna consciousness movement. At least they should make one disciple. At least they should make one disciple. So here we clearly told Sarangadhar, have you made a disciple? So he would repeatedly ask Sarangup Murari, have you made a disciple? And then Sarangadhar, he decided that the next person I meet, far away, the first person I meet, so Saranga Thakur, he decided that the first person I met, I will initiate him. Where was the heart key? The early morning, he went down to the Ganges to take his bath. So before Mangalati, next morning, he went to the Ganges to take his bath. And on the Ganges, there was a, a, a body. Uh, the devotee is uh, a person who was wind by state. So uh, he was put on a raft. So in the Ganges, there was a dead body of a person who was dead by the snake bite and he was put on a raft. Uh, where is he now? I was wind by state. Put on a raft. When somebody is bitten by a snake, they tie him to the banana uh, tree in like a raft because they think some sadhus, they have this capacity to extract the poison. So, this dead body first, I, I first Sarangatakur. So, this dead body touched Sarangatakur. So, that was the first. Person that Saranga Thakur saw. So that was the first person that Saranga Thakur saw. Uh, he uh, pulled him over and said the image of the mantra in his ear. So he pulled him over and said the initiation mantra in his ear. I will chant Hare Krishna just to represent that. And he would chant Hare Krishna just to represent that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama, Rama. So that person, that dead body, he came back to life. So that dead body came back to life. That was the power of Saranga Thakur. That was the power of Saranga Thakur. And then, Saranga Thakur gave him the name. Murari. Then Saranga Thakur gave him the name Murari. Murari Chaitanya Das. Murari Chaitanya Das. And since he had come back from death. But since he had come back from death. He was fearless. He was fearless. And uh, he died in the villages on the back of a tiger. He went to the villages on the back, back of a tiger. And the Kala people. Chant Hare Krishna. The, and he told the people to chant Hare Krishna. They were all like this. How is this person that's riding a bag on a tiger? They were overwhelmed seeing that who is this person who is riding on the back of a tiger. And they thought that and <laughs> he'll do this shape hundreds of more time. 
So they So today is your fifth day in Madhudam Grip. This trip is Dasya Bhakti. Hare Krishna. All the devotees are requested to please be seated. আমি এখানে 
So, I am thinking you must have heard about this place, Sarang Thakur and Bandhavandar Thakur, Vasudev Dutta, lady over. So, now on the way to your destination today, on the way we will see Arkatila, Vishmatila, then Bhakuntapur and Bhakpur. Many places today. Arkatila, Arka means sun god. Sun also, you can hear in Navadi Gnan, this place, to get the mercy from Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So in the Arkatila, sun god himself was praying to Lord Chaitanya to get his blessings. So Bhakti Nur Thakur prayed, when I can see that sun god in crying mood is praying to Lord Gauranga, Nayarka Dila. So Bhakti Nur Thakur is singing a song, Udile Aruna Purava Bhage, Dija Mani Gaura Amani Jhaga. Mahaprabhu instantly get up and get ready for Nagar Sankirtan by seeing this rising sun. So rising sun also looking for what Gurang Mahaprabhu's blessings. So this is your Kirtila. You will have to pray Surya Dev there. If you want to please Surya Dev, then you will get free from all kind of sickness. And the way to please Sun God is to Namaskar. Namaskar is Surya Priya. Just three times a day you have to Surya Namaskar. Jaladhar is Priya Namaskar. Upar film ke liye achi hai. Mahaprabhu are then you have to do fasting. You have to please Lord Shiva then pouring water. And please Sun God. Then, Vishmatila, then you will have to pray to Lord Gauranga. Then, you will have to pray to Son of Ganga Devi. So, Ganga Devi is here. So, Ganga Putra Vishma is Mahara Samir Mahara Santanu. So, when Mahara Santanu had agreement with Ganga Devi for marriage, at that time, Ganga Dev made an agreement with him that please don't oppose me, don't say anything to me. Whatever I will do, you don't have any complaint, you should not have any complaint. If you say one word opposing me, then I will leave you. <laughs> Nowadays, we are also very interesting. <laughs> so, so you can take this example that it is Ganga Devi. We are worshipable Mother Ganga. She has that <laughs> condition with her husband. So, but that is different case. So, Mara Santanu got child from Ganga Devi and Ganga Devi took the child and showed him. Mother, mother. So tell her that next child, same thing happened. He got so shocked, but he, he, he can't say anything because he'll lose his wife otherwise. So third, fourth, fifth, sixth, then Maharaj Santana said, this is too much. <laughs> Whatever son I'm getting, is he, he's killing them. Seventh one is also did something, the eighth one. Then uh, Mahara Santanu said, no, we object. What kind of mother you are? He said, okay, thank you, I am going. <laughs> I will not stay with you. So, he, But she took the child, but how the father will grow the child without mother? So Mother Ganga took the child with her. Don't worry, I will bring you back your child in right time. You don't have to worry. 
So Madhura Ganga took that time was his name was Deva Brata. So she took him to celestial planet Swarga and there uh, Bhishma Dev got educated from celestial university, not from this material university. Brahaspati and all that, Parasuram, they teach him there. <coughs> so when he came down, Bhishma Dev, uh, Devbrata, he converted to Bhishma by doing Pratigya. When Santanu Maharaj Santanu saw a girl rowing boat, she was called as, uh, before she was called Matshagandha, because she was Apsara but somehow rather cursed, so she burned out of a fish. So from her body always stinking fish things come out, but nobody used to marry her. So her father told them you have to do some job. She was rowing boat in Jamuna, getting some income. So Parasar Muni, he knew that I have to beget a child who will be Vyasadeva. So he was searching for a good candidate. So he saw this Masyagandha. She was alone rowing boat. Then he proposed. Then she said, okay, I can agree, but uh, without my father's permission, but one thing you have to fulfill my desire. What? But this stinking smell is coming from my body. Can you do something for it? No, okay, don't worry. Now again, without permission of my father and all that, I am getting engaged with you. So my chastity, no, don't worry for that. I will take care of that. So Parasar Muni, he made an island inside Jamuna. And by his yogi power, he begat a children from Machigandha. And he said, I will take it now with me. So he said, what about my, he said, now my blessings, you will be Jojanagandha. Jojanagandha means, Jojan means at least four kilometer or more than that. So smell from, like lotus flower will come from your body for four or five kilometers. So she became Jojanagandha from Masyagandha by the blessings of Prasaramani. And he also blessed that he will be Kumari. Nobody can figure it out that you have bigot children or not. And he said, okay, he is my past son, so how can I contact? Now, then uh, his son was Vyasadev. Vyasadev told my dear mother, keep my emergency number. Whenever you want, you can give me a call. I will come you. So he gave, <laughs> he gave her his emergency number and they left. Parasar and Vyas, they left. So, they are Masyagandha now, Jojanagandha. So when she come back to her house, so everybody was, how come she was so much changed now? So everybody want to marry her now. Now he is selected, she is selected. Even Emperor Maharaj uh, Santanu, when he saw Jodhanagandha, he was uh, ready to marry her and he proposed. Then her father, he told, Yes, who will say no to you? You are the king. My daughter will be the queen. But the thing is that, because Bhishma Dev was there, Rajadeva Brahma, he said, my daughter will be queen, but his son cannot be prince. So that is my thinking. If you can make me promise now that the son coming from my daughter, um, Satyavati, he can be the prince, he can be the king. Then Maharaj Santan said, no, I can't promise like that. I have Devrata as my son and I know he is special. I, so then he said, the, I, uh, please excuse me. So Santan Maharaj became very unhappy. He didn't agree but he was not happy. So Devabrata he find out the reason why his father is so unhappy. So then he do the research and find out from the driver. He said, the driver said, do you take me to the place? What happened? The driver tell him the all story. Then he took him to that Das Dasraj, the father of Satyavati, Jojanagandha. 
So there then he said, okay, you agree? Now this is, the, now I am the prince. I am telling, I will not become king. Whoever son come from Satyavati, he will be the king. He said, okay, you are promising? Yes, I am making promise. I will never ever become king. Now I will not become king. He is not Pakka Khetriya. Her son will not be so powerful to protect the country. So then what do you want? I want you to be there to protect the whole country, protect the king and country. Okay? He make the promise. One more thing now what? You may not be the king, you will be the protector, but what about your son? He will become king. <laughs> because <laughs> her generation will be, cannot be compared to your generation. Then Vishadam took another promise that okay, if you want, then I will not marry. Then no question of son. Hmm. So there are three promise, form promise he took, then he converted from Deva Brata to Bhishma. Bhishma Dev, he sometimes came to see because uh, Ganga Mata was also called Janabi. So because in Janudip he must have heard that last time. So one time Bhishma Dev came to see her Nana, his grandfather, Janamuni, mother's father. Janamuni in Janudip. And Janamuni advised him many things. Mm. And also Janamuni told about Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu, about the Navadip land, how dear to Lord and how um, golden avatar will appear here, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. By hearing this, Bhishma Dev was offering prayer to Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And while he was sleeping in the bed of Aros in Kurukhetra. At that time when Krishna and Pandavas, they went to him for instructions. At that time Bhishma Dev also instructing many things. At that time he was singing the uh, Sahasra, Vishnu Sahasra Nama. At there also he mentioned mm, Subarna Varana Hemango Varango Sandanangadi Sanyasa Kutu Samahasanta Nishta Santi Parayana. He was mentioning about Lord Gorang Mahaprabhu, that Lord will be there. So, Vishmadev was mentioning even Yudhishthira Maharaj about the Navadip land and Lord Gorang Mahaprabhu. We at that time, at the time of his death. So, Vishmatila, you can see where Vishmadev met Janamuni, and then you will see. You will pass through Vaikuntapur and Mahatpur. There it is said that Ramlila happened. Even when Lord Ram was vanished, when he was in Banavas, so he was wandering in the forest, Ram, Lachman, Sita, they came here also. In that, where you will, now the big banyan tree is not there. Otherwise the deeper name, Maudadruma, happened because of that tree only. The tree is Dhruma Vrikhya. Dhruma means a big banyan tree. Moda Dhruma, because under that tree, Sita Ram Lakman, they used to stay in Parnakutir. And Gorang, Lord Ram smiles. Sita Dev said, what happened? Why are you smiling? Then Ram told, okay, in future, I will, be up, I will come here also. I will appear here as a son of Brahman. So then Sita said, please tell me how you will be and all that. So then Mahab, Lord Ram was explaining, he said, you close your eyes, I will show you. So that is the nature of Lord, whenever he wants to uh, disclose something, he said, okay, you close your eyes. So Sita Devi closed her eyes and Lord Ram saw her inside the Gaur Lila. Mm. So by seeing the Gaur Lila, Sita Dev became so pleased, so pleased. In Sanskrit, pleasing called Moda. Modita. The Moda Dhruma. She gave the, under the Dhruma Brikhya, the, under the tree, became so much pleased. So the island name became Moda Dhruma. She became so much pleased. So Lord Sita also heard from Lord Ram about Gorang Mahaprabhu. And she started meditating and Lord appeared in front of her as Gorang Mahaprabhu, golden avatar. 
and then he became lord ram and they went so it is also mentioned that in mahatpur even madhava acharya ramanuj acharya they all also came there because all tirtha bhumis all the acharyas all the siddhantas in vidyanagar all the vedantas any vidya any kind of vidya everything is in navadip dham so if you do navadip dham parikrama then you will get whole universal parikrama the benefit of universal parikrama all vidya veda and all tirtha everything include so that's how our, our acharyas given this one week process first process purification and achievement everything will get to this navadi mandal parikrama <coughs> any anyway, you must have com uh, completed many times but is not getting that is another case it is said that ramanuja got ordered from jagannath puri from lord jagannath in chaitanya charitamrita it is mentioned that when lord when ramanuja acharya saw in jagannath puri the process of worshiping they said no they are doing something wrong i should consult with king i should change them i should give them training so the pandas there said they are not so much educated they say oh, where will go to for deity worship training now we don't know our parents from our hereditary were doing this so they paid to the lord jagannath then i said don't worry i will take care of you so at that night it is mentioned chatrapati jagannath through ramanuja acharya few hundred miles away but bhaktino thakur saying no 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 jagannath came to ramanuja and told you better go to navadip i was spending wasting time here go alone so i am with you no, i am there also as a gaura so that's why jagannath is gaura and lord ram is gaura jai krishna sai gaur sai jagannath so jagannath also told about gorang mahaprabhu last time to ramanuja and he told don't take anybody you go alone and you will see me there in gaur farm so ramanuja came from puri alone without telling anybody all his servants are searching next day morning they couldn't find so ramanuja came here and the gorang mahapur appeared in front of him he said don't worry you go back in kurma khetra you will meet your followers hmm. so ramanuja acharya also he came here and pray for lord goranga and sir goram much more before gorang mahapur appeared similarly madhavacharya also he came and goram he goram also gave him darshan he said um, you go back now and stay here then said i want to see your past time when you will be there okay that can be arranged you will come as a brahman but now you have to go so today in this course you will see all these places but you cannot see anyway you have to pass through but you have to pass through that place all these places so all these places we have to meditate on dasya anga bhakti bhav dasya anga dasya bhakti is that anga bhakti which includes all nine angas even if you are madhuri you are still dasya you are in bachali you are still in dasya but dasya bhav includes all anga bhakti and the bhakti starts from dasya only the shanta is not bhakti the attitude of service starts from dasya and it will still uh, stay till end madhuri bhav so dasya is common so if all of us want to have some bhakti starting to the end hmm, dasya to madhuriya so this course of parikrama today we should meditate upon hmm and uh, 
all other lords, all other process, that is difficult. But this Navadi plan is so merciful and so dear to Lord. And the, our Lord Gorang Mahapuji is so merciful without considering any qualification. He said, don't worry, you don't have to go through tapasya, so much jnana, dhyana, pranayam, nothing. Just chant and dance. No need of any qualification. So if you just take part in the Sarinam Kirtan among the group of devotees and pass through this, so I hope when you will reach Pratapnagar by that you will realize Dasya Bhakti. <laughs> <laughs> Shri Gauranga Mahaprabhu ki, Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda ki, Shri Namadeep Mandala Parikrama ki, Parikrama Kari Bhakta Vrinda ki, Nitai Gaur Hari Premanande. Thank you very much, Vaishnava Maharaj. We're going to have a quick drama. Huh? Janu Muni pastime. What about the drama? Huh? We spoke about Janu Muni yesterday. Who wanted to speak on Janu Muni? Okay. So if you could all just move to the back. Narayan, Narayan, Narayan Gauranga, Gauranga, Narayan, Narayan My dear devotees, as you know, day, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. By the order of Narayan, here to Kailash. He is the source of all incarnation. Oh, Narad Muni. Mahade. Welcome, welcome to the Kailash. Mahade. From where you have come from. Oh, Mahade. You are looking so ecstatic. Mahade. I have come from Vaikuntha. Oh. There, my Lord Narayan Vaikuntha Nath has revealed Something so extraordinary! He was describing this beautiful place, Navadweep. Navadweep? He then became this wonderful golden form, Goranga! Goranga? He described how he would come and perform his leelas here in Navadvip. Gauranga. Really? Gauranga. 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 Navadweep. Yes, it is so beautiful. Just as my Lord has described this land of Navadweep, where Goranga will appear. But now I am. I'm here. Will. Will I see my Lord Narayan also? By Kuntanath? Narayan! 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 Oh, my Lord! Narayan! No! What? Goranga? You are also going to appear here in this place, I know. Will I be here to see you? Yes! 
Yes! Yes! Go Ranga! Go Ranga! I will be here and I will know this place as Vaikuntapura, the place where Goranga appears and Narayan appears and I, Narada Muni, I'll be there too. Go! All right, we're going to go and see Vaikuntapur, Narayanapur. See if you can see Lord Garanga there also. Oh, 
हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 Hare 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 Hare
Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Nitai Gorango, 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 Nitai Gorango,
নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ ও নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ নিতাই গোরাঙ্গ
हरे
एक मिनट हरे कृष्णा ओ ज्ञान तिम्रंद ज्ञानाजनाशलाकया चक्षुरोन्मील ये ना तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददाती स्वदा वाछाकूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैश्वेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंदीत गाधर सेवा सारी गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे अनहैपी मीन्स वी गोट द मोड ऑफ इग्नोरेंस राइट एंड देर आर मेनी कंट्रीज अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सन शाइन इज वेरी वेरी रेयर कमोडिटी यू आर गेटिंग सो मच सन शाइन इयर इन नवदीप होल डे एंड यू हैव टू यूज सन स्किन क्रीम 
to avoid sunburn. Many of you are you using, is it not? Skin cream you are using for sunburn? No. Devotees from abroad, they must be using this. So, not everybody is used to sunshine, but sunshine is very, 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 very useful for, even for our health, our bone health. Uh, if you want to have good bones, vitamin D. Sun is the source of vitamin D. Vitamin D. So please don't avoid sunshine. <laughs> if you do Sankirtan, chant the names of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Panchadatva, chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, you will not the heat, feel the heat of the sunshine. You will be blissful because the roads are so hot, too hot. The car coal is very, very hot. The roads are also transcendental here. It makes you dance even if you don't want to dance. <laughs> so, <laughs> automatically you start dancing while walking on the road. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, this is a very, very special place. And also in Brahma Samhita, Lord Brahma, what Brahma says? Sun is compared to what? An eye of the Lord. Yachakshuresha Savita Saglagrahanam Raja Samasta Sura Murti Rasesha Tejaha Yasyagaya Bhavati Sambrita Gala Chakro Govindamadi Purusham Tam Aham Bhajami. By whose order? By the order of the Supreme Lord, Krishna Govinda. Sun is rotating on the mount of wheel of time, mounting on the wheel of time. 16,000 miles per second is the speed. So sun is not stationary. The modern astronomers, they don't accept this. They say sun is stationary, sun does not move and the planets are moving around the sun. Fortunately, we don't accept that. We accept the what? Statements of Srimad Bhagavatam. So sun is also rotating at the speed of 16,000 miles per second as compared to an eye of the Lord. Yachakshunesa Savita. Savita is another name of Surya. So that means what? Only when Krishna sees we can see ourselves. We have no power to see also unless Krishna is going to see us. So Krishna opens his eyes and then we are able to see. And many people will say, no, 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 no. Now we have got electricity, modern day, we are so advanced, we have got electricity, we have got bulbs and tube lights and halogens and so many things, LEDs and so many ways, so many sources of light. But that is coming from the powerhouse. And the powerhouse, the source of powerhouse is what? Water, thermo and the hydro. It is also coming from Krishna. So we cannot avoid the Lord. So this uh, place is uh, Surya Kund. It is not different from the Surya Kund of Braj Mandal, uh, which is very, very close to, very, very near to Radha Kund. Radha Kund. It is a Govardhan area and very near to Radha Kund, three kilometers away from Radha Kund, north of Radha Kund. You can walk through. When you go to Radha Kund, you can go through the fields, you can go there. Surya Kund. We once went there long back while during Giraj Parikrama so we went there also so it's a nice place and um, a spiritual master of Sri Lanka Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Madhusudan Das Babaji Maharaj this place is Bhajan Kuti is there also and also uh, who gave Babaji ways to Sri Lanka Gaur Krishnadar Babaji Maharaj Bhagavad Das Babaji Maharaj his Bhajan Kuti is also there in Surya so a lot of past times that this, this place was discovered here where we are now. This place was discovered by His Divine Grace Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. So many other places were discovered discovered by him and of course by Bhakti Srila Bhakti Thakur also. So these are the two main Acharyas who have revealed the glories of Navadeep Dham. 
that's why Bhaktivinoda Thakur was also known as the Saptam Goswami, the seventh Goswami. And then, uh, so this was discovered by him. So Surya Kund, it's a place where Srimati Radharani goes every day to worship Surya. In Braj you will see many Brajwasis, they are worshipping Surya, they are worshipping Hanumanji, they are worshipping Lord Shiva. The gopis also, they also worshipped uh, Katyayani, is it not? But they are not asking something for themselves. They are asking for whom? They are asking for whom? For Krishna. And they want Krishna. So that's why they want to have the blessings of all the demigods and asking benediction from them, asking blessings from them so that they can go very, very close to Krishna. So Surya is a place where Srimati Radharani goes every day to worship Surya. And uh, it's around 3 o'clock. This past time took place there in Surya Kund. And uh, as usual, Radharani would not go alone. She was accompanied by her Sakhis. Um, the gopis, they all went there to Surya Kund to worship Surya. And Krishna and Vadu Mangal, they both came in disguise. Krishna was the chief priest and Madhu Mangal was a disciple. Now they are going to help Srimati Radharani to worship Surya. So that uh, Surya Puja was done. And when Surya Puja was done, now the time has come for Dakshina. So, Madhu Mangal and Jatila is also there. That's the only place where Radharani is allowed to go there. It's not so easy to go outside. Jatila is very, very strict. She is going to have always supervision on Radharani, whether she is going to go and meet Krishna. So Jatila comes and then she requests the chief priest, the Brahmin, please pay for the prosperity of Abhimanyu, the so-called husband of Srimati Radharani. So the worship is done and now something has to be given to the priest, to the Brahmana. So Madhu Mangal, he is expecting what? Laddu! That's the Dakshina. Best Dakshina which you can give, give to Madhu Mangal is the Laddu. So this last time took place there and also Radhani placed her crown there on a rock and that rock melted. So that there is a place uh, where that rock got melted uh, by placing Radharani's crown. Radharani placed that crown, her own crown and that rock melted. So that place is also there. So this is uh, the past time it took place in Surikur. Uh, so it's related to Surya only. This is from the uh, scripture Lalit Madha, where Srila Rupa Goswami narrated this uh, past time, where Krishna has left Vrindavan, has gone to Mathura, and all the Brajwasi, they are feeling intense separation. And Srimadhi Radharani is also feeling intense separation. And all our Sakhis also are feeling very intense separation. They are all very, very, very unhappy that Krishna has left Braj, she left Vrindavan and gone to Mathura. And now Radharani is feeling so much separation. She goes to Yamunaji and she is crying, crying, crying. And then she sees Yamuna. She could see her Shamsundar there in the Yamuna. And then what Radharani does? She immediately jumps into Yamuna deep inside, gone. And then what happened? That very moment, Vishakha Sakhi also comes there. She, be she also becomes very, very morose. She, she feels intense separation from Srimad Radharani. And she also jumps inside. But it's also said Yamunaji is also a liquid form of Vishakha. So she is taken care. But who is going to take care of Srimad Radharani? She is worshipping Surya every day. So she is taken away by the sun god to the sun planet. 
and the Lord only goes to the sun planet and then she is still very very morose she is not happy and the sun god Surya Dev says see you know I worship Surya Narayan the sun god worships Surya Narayan there is Surya Narayan there is a Lord Narayan Surya Narayan in the sun planet so the sun planet a Surya Narayan sun god is worshipping and see you can have darshan of Surya Narayan here he is very very beautiful very very attractive so then what Radharani says he is very very beautiful very very beautiful not so beautiful like Krishna Krishna is even more beautiful than <laughs> so she, he, Krishna is very very more attractive although having darshan of all pranams, all glories, my obeisances, please accept my obeisances, all glories to Lord Narayan. But my sweet Lord is Shyam Sundar Krishna. So then here in Dwarka what happens is King Satraji is actually praying to Sun God. He is also a devotee of Sun God and he is also praying for a child or a, and then he is praying to Sun God. So what happens is she is explained in Lalitvada how all the gopis of Bharat, they expanded as the queens of Dwarka. All the 16,000 uh, gopis of Braj, how they expanded as the queens of Dwarka. So, King Satraj is praying for a, for a child and then Radharani expands herself and this benediction is given to King Satraji. She uh, expands herself and appears as Satya Bhama in Dwarka. So like that, all this expansion took place. So, the Surya <coughs> sun planet is very very powerful and the sunshine is there always with us. Uh, Krishna Surya Sama, Maya Hoy Andhakar, Jaha Krishna Taha Nahi, Maya Radhikar. So, okay, you are feeling very very hot under the sunshine. I don't like so much sunshine. I want to be in my room chanting Hare Krishna but then you have another son with you Krishna Surya Sama if you are chanting Hare Krishna the son is there if Krishna is like son Krishna not just like son but it's more more than son even we, when we chant the Gayatri uh, when we chant the Brahma Gayatri there is Savita we utter the word Savita the Savita is also son right that's a literal meaning but actually uh, it's not just the sun god it also means Krishna who is sustaining millions and millions and millions of universes so we are worshipping that Krishna who is the source of everything Krishna Surya Sama Maya Hoya Andhakar Jaha Krishna Taha Nahi Maya Radhikar so once Prabhupada uh, was walking around the beach with the disciples and he just saw the sun setting, sun setting or sun rising, I don't remember exactly. So sun was very, very reddish. Hmm. I think it should be sunrise only because to go for a morning walk. Sun was very, very reddish. And Prabhupada asked the disciple, how does the sun look like? So every one of them, they are giving different explanations. Then Prabhupada said, this looks like Krishna's eye. So Krishna's eyes is also very very reddish and all that. So like that, so this is a very very important place for us, Arkatila. And uh, we come here every year whenever we do Navadhi Pandal Parikrama. And uh, this Navadhi Pandal Parikrama, we have to be, we have to take care of this place, you know. We have to take care of ourselves while doing Parikrama. Of course when we say no offenses are counted, in Navadhi Mandal Parikrama, is it not? When you chant the names of Gauranga, when you chant the names of Nityananda, no offenses are counted. But if you chant the names of Krishna, all the offenses are counted. So this is a license for me to commit offenses in Navadhi. So we have to understand that unintentionally, without knowing, if we commit offenses, those offenses may be forgiven. But knowingly we should not commit offenses. When we know that these are the offenses to the Holy Dham, especially to the Navadip Basis, the residents of Navadip. 
the animals of Navadi, the birds and bees of Navadi, and also the trees and the creepers and the plants of Navadi, we have to be very, very care careful not to offend them. I have one request. They had visited Narsingapalli, Lord Narsingdev's temple, and you might have seen a lot of tulsi leaves on the ground. In the temple hall, on the floor, many, many tulsi leaves are falling on the ground. And uh, unfortunately, we may know or may not know, because somebody asked me that day, Ki Prabhuji, now the, the offenses are not counted, so if you are stepping on Tulsi, I think it must be forgiven, must be forgiven. So it's not, it is, Navadev Dham is no doubt very merciful, but it is not cheap. His Dham is not cheap. It is, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Mahavadanyaya, most merciful. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gorang Mahaprabhu is not cheap. We have to pay some price. So my request, humble re appeal to all of the devotees coming here who have participated in Navadi Mandal Parikrama and going to continue this Parikrama. Whenever you see Tulsi on the ground, whenever you see Tulsi falling here and there, in the temples and any place, please pick up, pick up that Tulsi. Please don't step on Tulsi. We have to be very, very careful on that. So, like that we have to take care of all the whatever uh, <coughs> rules and regulations we have related to Dham and visiting the places and when we see the senior devotees are walking, let us not step over them, let us not push them to come forward, let us not mix with each other, uh, Prabhus and Matajis, because it's Navadip, you know, uh, we, we, they, Navadip has some, they have some tradition to follow, so let us follow their tradition and then, you know, we'll be safe. So we have to be very careful not to jump over other, each other and not to push each other, not to pull each other. Um, so we have to be very, very careful even while walking also. And so another thing that I has mentioned before that while doing the parikrama, we should try our level best to be in the kirtan. That's the best thing, to be in the kirtan always. Chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, chant the names of Nithai Goranga as much as possible and get the maximum benefits of Navadi Mandal, Parikrama. So like that, there are many, many rules and regulations. And uh, so, this is what we wanted to explain about the Surya Kund, Arka Kund, Arka Kund, which is non-different from Surya Kund. And then now we have many other places to see. So whenever we see sun, we should pay our Pranams or we should pay our obeisances to Sun God also because Sun Surya Sun God is not just Sun God there there is uh, Surya Narayan is also there and this Sun God is helping us to remember Krishna is it not so in Srimad Bhagavatam is also says that we let us not waste our life let us not waste our time as uh, time is passing by as the sun is setting and sun is rising the time is passing by and the lifespan is being taken away, taken away as the sun rises and sun sets. I expect, except those who are constantly glorifying the glories of the Lord, Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So if you are chanting the names of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, if you are chanting the names of the Lord Nityananda, if you are chanting the names of the Lord, Sankirtan, if you are participating in that, then the sun, the influence of time, because it's mounting on the wheel of time, so in that way, the time will not influence us. So we will be free from the influence of time if we are in Kirtan. Is it not? And we will remain young. But if we are not, if we are not in Sankirtan, then we will feel that we are very, very old, I am very, very weak, I am very, very sick, I can't walk like this, you know, there's too much, there's hot sunshine and so many stones and pebbles uh, everywhere, the roads are not so good, we will keep thinking like that. Hmm. But if you are chanting, if you are in the Sankirtan, then these things will not bother us and we will relish, we will get the full benefit of Navdi Mandal Parikrama. Hare Krishna. Shila Prabhupad ki. Do we have any other speakers? Hamza Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wants to speak. Yeah. Huh? Okay. So
also like to introduce to you, uh, coming with us for the first time on Parikram this year, we have His Holiness Sundar Chaitanya Swami Maharaj. So Maharaj preaches generally in Mauritius, also he's visiting Canada also now under the influence of Bhakti Mark Swami Maharaj. So he's regular on Parigrama, so he's going to speak something for us today. <coughs> Avagyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chakshara Miritam Yena Tasme Shri Guru Venama Namaho Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shemate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pracharine <coughs> Nirvisesa Sonyavadi Pasachadi Satarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Dityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gaurakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're going to speak about Janamuni if we will cross the place <coughs> while Janamuni one time he was doing his Gayatri while he was doing his Gayatri, then the, uh, the Ganges was crossing, overflowing his ashram. This is the time when uh, Bhagirat Maharaj went to uh, um, invite the Ganges to come to purify his, his 60,000 family members who were burned to ashes by Kapila Dev at the uh, a Ganga Sagar, where the ashram of Kapila, Kapila Muni is. So the only way that the 60,000 family members they were trying to actually kill, um, thinking that Kapila Dev has actually stolen their horse. So while doing so, then Kapila Muni opened his eyes and they were all burned to ashes. And these are the family members of King Bhagirat, who at that time there was no Ganges water, and he went to pray to the Gan to Ganges, to the Ganga, Ganga Devi. And then Ganga Devi accepted to come to his planet. It's explained in Bhagavad Nisashtra how he comes to different places. Actually, he comes from the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu. Ah, when Vamana Dev is trying to show his first step, or the second step, that piercing this world, and piercing the Viraja river is coming from them, washing the feet of Lord Vishnu, this is how the Ganges come to this planet. It is said that the Ganges is pink in color, because the, the, the soul, the foot, the foot is pink, right? The soul is pink. Yamuna is black because Krishna took, took bath in the Yamuna. So it came down to this planet and it was crossing this area and came to the ashram followed by, I mean, uh, uh, Bhagirat. It was following Bhagirat on a horse and then coming to the ashram of Janamuni and washed away his Achaman cup while he was doing Gayatri. And Janamuni became very upset he just swallowed the whole Ganga in one gulp. <laughs> and then Bhagirat was going in front and he looked back, he could not see Ganges, Ganga water, where, where's gone now? You know, he was following me, where is he, where is she? <laughs> and then <clears throat> uh, Bhagirat found out that it was swallowed by Janamuni. Uh, and then Janamuni also was in this Janu he was also doing tapasya 
and Janamuni also had the darshan of Lord Goranga. Goranga. So at this moment he became angry to swallow the Ganges. And Bhagirath came understanding that it's Janamuni who has swallowed these Ganges and was praying to Janamuni. Bhagirath was praying to Janamuni for several days to please release Ganga. And afterward, Janu was pleased and he released the Ganges water. Uh, and after that, it was called, I mean, Ganga's many name. As from that, she was called Janavi. Kiba Jaya Jaya Gora Chande Arati Kasaba Janavi Tatavane Jagamana Loba So Arati was being performed for the punch for Goni Thai at the bag of Janavi's Ganga. But from now on she's called Janavi and she became the daughter of Janu Muni. And Janavi, Janu Muni, Janavi. That's why she's called Janavi. Janavi Tatavani. <coughs> uh, at the back of the Ganges, this artist is being performed. And she's also called uh, Bhagirati. And because she also became the daughter of King Bhagirat. And then she's called Bhagirati. Uh, we can also pray to Ganges, to Bhagirati. Ganga Devi, Ganga Devi, Ganga Devi, Rakshama Balo. Bhagirati, 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 Pahima. So this Ganges is coming from the lotus mouths of, of the Lord, or lotus feet of the Lord, and the Bhagavad Gita also comes from the lotus mouths of the Lord. So Acharya explained there is no difference between Ganges and Bhagavad Gita because both coming from the transcendental body of the Lord, but some Acharyas also explained there is a secret of difference. What is the secret of difference? is that after a long bath, taking long bath long, long t for a long time, then one get purified in the Ganges. But hearing Srimad Bhagavad Gita from a pure devotees, immediately one become purified. purified. Uh, if one associates with a pure devotee, immediately he becomes purified, whereas the Ganges take longer time mm, to, to get purified. But still, sometimes there were the uh, sadhus, the Brijbasi, and the Navadvip Sadhu, they were discussing, they were talking, which is, which is most uh, uh, sacred or most purifying. The Bhishbhasi Sadhu was saying the Yamuna is more purifying because Krishna bathed in the, in the Yamuna, his whole body was in the Yamuna, you know, that's why Yamuna is black, right? So, <clears throat> it's more purifying, Yamuna doing sports with the gopis and Krishna, so it's more exalted. But the Navadvip uh, Sadhu say, no, 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 wait a minute. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took birth in Navadvip, Ganga, Haribo. <laughs> so it's more purifying. So we were discussing like that. Ganga may give liberation other places, I would say Ganges, water give liberation. But Ganga in Navadvip give Krishna Prema, Haribo. Uh, so this is the, uh, it's also <coughs> the Padodakam, Ayur mm. Harati uh, Vaipumsam, no, no, this one, uh, uh, let's see, the verse, Akara Mrityu Haranam, Sarvavyadi Vinasanam, Vishnu Padodakam Pidva, Sidasi Dharamiham, another line also is there. <laughs> Uh, uh, akala Mrityu Haranam, it takes away all the Akala Mrityu Haranam, Sarva Vyari Vinasaram, destroying all the disease. Uh, Vishnu Padoda Kampit Bhadurus take the Amrit, Charana Amrit, this is also Charana Amrit, Ganges is also 
ಚರಣಾಮೃತ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪರೋದಕಂ ಪರೋದಕಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪರೋದಕಂ ಚರಣಾಮೃತ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪರೋದಕಂ ಪಿಡ್ವಾ ಎಸ್ ಪರಿಸಿ ದಾರಮಿಹಂ ಐ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಮೈ ಹೆಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಲೋಕ್ ಶಿವ ಇಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಎಸ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಟ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಗಂಗಧಾರ ಶಿವ ಕಿ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ ಅಪನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಚರಣಾಮೃತ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೈ ಅಕಾಲಮೃತ್ ಹರಣಂ ಸರ್ವ್ಯಾರಿ ವಿನಾಶನ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪದೂದಕಂ pitva you drinking this water this water is very purifying ganges water is coming from the lotus feet of the and also the, the the water coming from the feet of the devotee is also very exalted bhakta pada duli bhakta pada jal bhakta bhukti ever says aitina mahabal water that has washed the feet pada duli means the dust of the lotus feet of the devotee is water that has washed the feet of the devotees and the remnants of the devotees aitina mahabal they are very very powerful and that's what we look when we go to temple first of all we pay obeisances because to the guru we want the dust of the guru prabhupada upon our head and then we go to krishna with our obeisances and then we looking for charanamrita third thing the fourth thing we are looking for what mahaprasadam bhakta pada duli ಭಕ್ತಪದ ಜನ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಅವರ ಸೈಜ್ ಐಥಿನ ಮಹಾಬಲ ಸೊ ದಿ ಗ್ಯಾಂಜ್ ಇಸ್ ವರ್ಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ರಿವರ್ ನಾಯಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿವರ್ ರೈಟ್ ನಾಯಲ್ಸ್ ರಿವರ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಲಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿವರ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಂಗಾ ಗಂಗಾ ಮಯ್ಯಾ ಕಿ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಶೂರ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೇಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಫ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗ್ಯಾಂಜಸ್ ಹರಿವೋ ಟು ಅಚೀವ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ ಗೋಪ್ಯಮನಂದಿ ಓಕೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓಕೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಪೂರ್ ರೈಟ್ ವರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಕಟಿಲ ಮಹಾತ್ಪೂರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವೇ ಟು ದ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ Do we actually know the place? We don't actually know. Huh? Yeah, if you have spiritual vision, then you'll know the place. Right. Anyway, uh, Mahatpur. We should hear the past time how the Pandavas came here to Mahatpur in this region, somewhere around these forests. Pandavas were living in exile. They had to go incognito. They had to be in exile for 12 years and one year incognito. So they were living in the forest, moving around. At one point they came to Eka Chakra. Eka Chakra is in Radha Desh. How many of you have been to Eka Chakra? Yeah, if you haven't been to Eka Chakra, you need to go to Eka Chakra. you should go it's a, one of the important holy places you know we do try to visit all the places like after this parikram is over then there's the ekadasi and then the day after ekadasi the dwadasi we celebrate the appearance day of madhavendra puri and there's a big festival at shantipur so shantipur festival we arrange buses free you don't get much free in my poor these days but <laughs> there's a free bus to take everyone to shantipur on the dwadasi and there's a big festival there and it said anyone who takes prasadam or who cooks prasadam or distributes prasadam in shantipur on that day they will get krishna prem and so if you want krishna prem you have to go to shantipur on that day it's given it's a very big festival thousands of people come and we distribute prasadam kichri to everyone so shantipur is one of the important places in the it's 
it's an hour, over an hour from Mayapur by bus. Eka Chakra is a bit further away than Shantipur in another direction. Eka Chakra is in a place called Radha Desh. Radha Desh means a place where the Ganga does not flow. But it's a holy place. Lord Nityananda appeared there in Eka Chakra Dham. It's also a Dham. Lord Nityananda resides there. So in Eka Chakra, there's no Ganga. So how could it be a Dham? Usually the Dham, the holy places, are all beside the Ganga. Should be the Ganga, be in the side of the Ganga. But Eka Chakra is not near the Ganga. How is it a holy place? So the answer is given, it's a holy place because the Pandavas came there. And wherever the Pandavas stay becomes a holy place. Right? I told you yesterday, Tirti Kuvanti Tirtani Swanta Stena Gadabrata. It's the devotees, it's the saintly persons. When they come to a place, they make the, the place a holy place. So the Pandavas, they came to Eka Chakra and they resided there for some time. Uh, they were given shelter in the home of one poor Brahmana and his wife. And they invited the Pandavas along with Draupadi that they could come and stay in their home. And the Brahmana, he lived by begging. And they would, when the Pandavas came to live in their home, the Pandavas would also go out for begging. But they would take turn. One person every day would stay back to be with Mother Kunt, uh, to be with Draupadi and the Brahmana's wife, just to take care. They thought, we won't send everyone out for begging. One person should stay back. So they took turns to stay back. So it happened that one day when they were all out begging and Bhima was left at home, at that time they heard the Brahmana talking with his wife. And the Brahmana's wife was crying because it, there was a demon who was terrorizing that place, Eka Chakra. And all the people were so afraid because this big demon was a Rakshasa and he was eating humans. So they made an agreement with the demon that, look, you don't have to come and, and terrorize all of us. We will send to you food. And we, you, we will send also one person and one cow and a, a, a big cart of food for you. We will send to you every day. So then the demon thought, oh, very good. I won't have to come and myself work to get my food. You can send it to me. All right, that's very good. So it turned out that when the Pandavas came to stay in the house of that Brahmana, it came to that Brahmana's, it was that Brahmana's turn that he had to provide for the demon. He had to provide food. He had to send a cartload of food along with a cow and one of the family also had to go to be eaten by the Rakshasa. So the Brahmana was saying, I will go. But the Brahmana had a son, and the son would say, No father, I will go, let me go. I am your son, it's your duty, it's my duty, I should serve you. I will go. And so like this they were talking, and the mother was crying. Naturally she didn't want either of them to go and be eaten by the Rakshasa. So, Bhima overheard all of this and he said, well, look, you know, it's not a problem. I can go. Let me go. I will take your place. Let me go. I'm, you know, I can go there and meet this Rakshasa. I will deal with him. And so they were reluctant, but Bhima said, no, no, it's not a problem. I'm happy to go. Give me the cartload of food. <laughs> And so they, were, they prepared a big cartload of food and Bhima took, went off with a cartload of food and naturally he began to eat the food. 
and he was enjoying it. He thinking, it's very nice, this is very good. And so they got to the place where the Rakshasa was, and the Rakshasa came out and he saw, there's no food. Who's eating all the food? And then Bhima confronted him. And so Bhima said, yes, I've taken the food. Who are you? And, and like this, there was, and then came the inevitable battle. And Bhima ripped into that Rakshasa and tore that Rakshasa to pieces and killed him and defeated him. So what happened was while Bhima was away doing that, dealing with the Shrakshasa, at that time Arjuna came home. And Arjuna came home and he asked, well, where's Bhima? I thought Bhima was staying here to take care of you. And they said, no, no, he went to deal with one Rakshasa. There's a big Rakshasa and Bhima went there to take food to him and deal with him. So Arjuna became a little worried. He thought, really? A big Rakshasa? Oh, maybe, maybe Bhima's in trouble. I should go there and find out what's happening. So Arjuna then left. He went to find out what had happened to Bhima. And when Arjuna was going, he became so worried, he thought, let me fire a Nagapashu, and that will protect Bhima in case there's any danger. So he, re he released one Nagapashu. The snake arrow, he fired the snake arrow and he released it. But after he fired it, then, he, after a short time, then he met up with Bhima. And Bhima was coming back after defeating the Rakshasa. And Arjuna said, oh, I was so worried about you. I fired the Nagapashu. I've released the Nagapashu. What should we do? So Arjuna said, it, it was decided, we will have that Nagapashu just simply remain in the forest, that he has to stay in this one place. Anybody who comes near it, then the Nagapashu can devour it, can devour them. So in this way, that Nagapashu was remaining there in the forest in one place, and he stayed there for a long time. So that was in the time of the Pandavas. After that, then, 500 years ago, Lord Nityananda appeared there in Eka Chakra. And Lord Nityananda was one day playing with all of his friends and they came to that forest and he heard how there's this big snake there. And Lord Nityananda, being the omniscient personality of Godhead, he could understand. This Nagapashu, that was what was released by Arjuna in the previous yuga, when he was there in exile, when, he, when the Pandavas were all staying there in Eka Chakra, he had released that Nagapashu. So Lord Nityananda went there to that place where the snake was. Lord Nityananda, who is Lord Nityananda? He, Anantashesh, yeah, Anantashesh, Sankarshan, the non-different from Lord Nityananda. He's the king of all snakes. So he went there and he spoke to that Nagapashu. He said, you have to stop devouring all the people. He said, we'll make a hole for you. You stay in that hole. You stay there. But the snake said, well, if I stay there, how will I get food? How will I eat? But Lord Nityananda said, no, I will arrange. We will, people will come and worship you and they will offer milk to you. Is it because you'll be the snake? When they come, they will come here and they will offer you worship. You don't have to devour them. With their worship, they will offer you milk. And Lord Nityananda then took a ring and he put it as a cover over the hole where the snake was. And this way, Lord Nityananda, oh, with an earring, not a, a ring, an earring. That's why Lord Nityananda has one earring. He doesn't have to, he took one earring off and used it to cover the hole where that Nagapashu snake was residing. So the Pandavas were there in Eka Chakra, but when they were there in Eka Chakra, at that time, Maharaj Yudhisthira, he got a dream. And in his dream, Lord Balaram appeared to him. Brajendra Nandana say, Balaram Hoilo. 
So Lord Balaram came as Nitai, and Lord Balaram, he spoke to Maharaj Yudhisthira, and he told him, he said, you've come to... From from God Ramadri, let me wait to Madhya Madhvi. Madhya Madhvi process was Maranam, remembering, eh? remembering, always remember Krishna. So that, that was uh, when we were in the Madhya Madhvi. Who are we hearing? Who's past tense? Who are we hearing? Who's past tense? Hari Harshit. Hari Harshit. Okay, so then Madhya Madhvik, we were remembering. And after Madhya Madhvik, then Kola Dweek. We crossed over the Ganga into Kola Dweek, which was Pradweek. Process was Padasevanam. Actually, the whole Parikrama is Padasevanam. Serving the holy dham, doing parikrama. So we were in Kola Dweep, and we heard about Lord Varaha, we heard about Devananda, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Samadhi was there, Bhajan Kutir, Damishwar Mahaprabhu, and Maya is there as? Proda Maya, right? Proda Maya. In Navadweep, Proda Maya. In Vrindavan, Prodamaya is? 
पूर्णमासी I I have to be careful who I listen to. <laughs> Sometimes they're wrong. <laughs> so Purnamasi is in Vrindavan. She's arranging all the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. But in Navadvip, Prodamaya, and Prodamaya arranges to cover up the holy dam from the non-devotees. The non-devotees. She doesn't want them to see the glory of the holy dam. So she covers up the holy dam. That's why the Mayapur, the place of Maya, Maya is covered. The whole dam is covered by Maya for the materialistic people, for the non-devotees. They come and they buy ice cream and they drink Coca-Cola and they think the real happiness. So that's a, for them. That's a visit to Mayapur. You know they have their own experience of Maya in Mayapur. <laughs> so Prada Maya was there in the in that marketplace right there in Navadweep, Pada Sevanam. And then after Pad after after coming to uh, Kola Dweep, then we went to Ritu Dweep, where all the seasons are present. All the beautiful seasons, six seasons. So uh, we in Ritu Dweep. Remember all the wonderful people. How the whole village would come out. So many people. You sh sometimes in the beginning you see little children come out. Then later on, after some time, then the ladies start to come out. And now even the men are coming out. You know, I was amazed to see when we were coming through. You, you know, in the beginning, when we first did Parikram, in the beginning, all the little children would come and look at us. After some time, then the ladies would come. Now the men are even there looking at us. It's amazing, you know, everyone coming out to see us. The whole, the whole place, I think. So, uh, Ritu Dweep, we heard about in Ritu Dweep. Samudragar. Right, Samudra Gar, Samudra Sain. Remember, we had the great battle, Bhima fighting Samudra Sain, and Lord Krishna having to come to convince Samudra Sain. In every age, the Lord comes in this dam. In the Satya Yuga, how does the Lord come in Navadvip Dam? As who? Huh? Nishingadev, yes, Nishingadev, that's one for, also as Varaha, Lord Varaha, he appeared, remember the temple was there at Kuladweep, so, yeah, and then in Treta Yuga the Lord comes, Lord Ramachandra and Dwapara Yuga, Lord Krishna, right, he came to, to, for Samudra Sain, and in Kali Yuga does he come? I hope he comes, yeah. Yeah, he comes. So, the, in, the, the, in every age, the Lord comes. And the Acharyas of the four Sampradayas, they also come here. We have Ramanujacharya also coming. He was told. Who told him? Jagannath. Lord Jagannath personally told Ramanuja, you go to Navadweep. Go and see Navadweep. Go and see this place. Ramanuja, you know, tried to interfere with the worship of Lord Jagannath. Lord Jagannath didn't like it. He threw him out of, of, of Jagannath Puri. He woke up the next morning in Kurmakshetra. Not Kurukshetra, Kurmakshetra. So, uh, Lord Jagannath told Ramanuja, go and see the beauty of Navadweep and but, but he said, you don't have to preach your dashya bhakti there. Now, the devotees there in Navadweep, they're doing gora bhakti, not just simply dashya bhakti, which is, uh, you know, the mode of aishwarya, which is practiced in the Sri Sampradaya. They worship the Lord with great awe and reverence. You go there, if you go there at the time of the... Uh, uh, Garuda Mahotsav, 
Yeah, there's a big procession, and you'll see all the Brahmins, they chant all the Vedic mantras, all the prayers. You know, it's quite different from our Rathiatra, you know. Rathiatra is, you know, all jumping and dancing, and you go there to their program, and they have a chariot festival. It's very sober, you know. Om Sahasra Vishru Nam Sahasra like that, they're chanting the prayers. So they have Dasharas, Aishwarya, they worship the Lord in Aishwarya. one to enter into the oneness and they think by worshiping the statue one day I will also become the statue I'll become like this so that's kind of their thinking but we worship the deity as God himself that the Lord appears in the elements and the Lord can speak to the devotee just like Shakshi Gopal the deity was speaking to the devotee and the deity can eat, and the deity can, he can steal, steal the Mahaprasadam to give to his devotees like Shira Kura Gopinath. So we understand the deity as a very living 
personality, its avatar, the Lord comes from the spiritual world and he descends into the deity form in order to accept our worship. So Madhvacharyas, they had that principle. They, uh, Madhvacharya established the worship of Udupi Krishna and their worship, it happened one day because they had a rule about who could get into the temple and who couldn't. And so one man who was actually a great devotee, he wasn't able to get into the temple and he was looking at the deity from the back through a hole in the wall and he could see the back of the deity and he was thinking how wonderful it would be to see the front of the deity. So at that time the deity turned around. And when the deity turned around to, so that he could reveal his form to that man, so after that the priest said, well, we cannot turn him back. So they continue the worship with the deity in that way, standing in that position. And they had to redesign the temple, of course, and everything. <laughs> but, but they accepted that this was the deity's desire, that he wanted to re reveal his form to this devotee. So these things happen when the deity is properly worshipped that you will see life in the deity, how the deity reciprocates with the love of his devotees. It's, it's not impersonal. It, we're not just worshipping some statue. So Madhvacharya, he was told, you don't need to come to Navadvip Dam, but you go everywhere and defeat the Mayavadis, defeat their philosophy. And, of course, Srila Prabhupada also has that in his own Pranam Mantra. Nirvishesha Shunyavadi! Srila Prabhupada offers his respects to his spiritual master, that serving my spiritual master, Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati, Gauravani, preaching the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the Western world, which is full of impersonalism and voidism or to save the Western world from impersonalism and voidism. How can we ever save India from impersonalism and voidism? That's a bigger challenge. Huh? Bhagavad Yeah, distribute more. But they also have Bhagavad Gita. Shankaracharya also has commentary on Bhagavad Gita. It's not just dis distribute Bhagavad Gita, but preach the Bhagavad Gita. Teach! Just don't just only distribute the books, but we have to teach. And now we're seeing so many wonderful programs going on everywhere. I met some devotee from Mangalore, and he was telling me how in Mangalore they have 150 teachers. And they have classes, they have courses going on in 12 languages. And they're teaching the Bhagavad Gita in five different levels very structured program. And so they have like thousands, you know, the congregation had just expanded unlimitedly by preaching, by having these courses, by offering these kind of courses to people, letting, the, let, letting them come and enroll online. You can study the Bhagavad Gita and they have these courses going on all over. And, and it's all based in Mangalore. I told Krishna Prabhu, the um, director of education there in Mayapur, he goes there regularly to Mayapur, uh, to Mangalore, and he trained all the devotees there. He trained the devotees how to teach, how to do the teaching work, and they've had huge success. A devotee told me they had no money initially. He said, but after they started doing all these courses, they got so many people, so many students, and they got, when they wanted donations, they got so much money. All the money they needed, they could purchase land, and then now they're building a big temple. So preaching, teaching, very, very important. Not just only distribute the books, but teach, have classes, somehow reach out to people. So the Acharyas, they all came here, I think tomorrow or the next day we'll be seeing Shankat, uh, Shankapur, Shankatapur, place where Shankaracharya came. And of course they told Shankaracharya, you get out from here. We don't want you here. 
he was told to go. Uh, Shankaracharya, of course, is the Lord Shiva, and he has a mission. Mayavada asachastram prachanam bodham uchate. Prachanam bodham. It means covered Buddhism. My, this Shankaracharya did a great service for the world. He brought back the Vedic culture by defeating Buddhism. Buddhism is Gnostic, atheistic philosophy. But it was Shankaracharya who defeated it by presenting Mayavada Asat Shastram, the Maya, by presenting the Mayavadi philosophy. The Buddhists would say the absolute truth is zero, nothing, zero. Sunyavada, void, nothing. They say nothing is real. You are not real, I'm not real. So take a break and beat them on the head and say, it's, it's not real, Prabhu. <laughs> so the Buddhist philosophy is Gnostic philosophy. And Shankaracharya, he just changed a little bit. The absolute truth is not zero, it is one. One. Advaita, monist, monist philosophy. So Shankaracharya brought back the Vedas by that way. And he established also st strict Brahmanas. Why did, why did the Buddhist, Buddhist philosophy come up in India? Because of the degradation and corruption among the Brahminical caste. Because they had become so degraded, they had encouraged the people in killing the animals and performing sacrifice, doing all this nonsense. So. Lord Buddha came and he led the people away from the Vedas and he taught them, no, it's all, you know, we're all the same, everybody, you don't need any Brahmins, you don't need the Vedas, just follow me. So Lord Buddha came to trick the atheists that they will follow him. And then later on Shankaracharya came and his service was to bring back the Vedas and establish proper Brahminical culture. And then later on the Vaishnava Acharyas came and they taught the real purport behind the Vedas with the Vaishnava philosophy. So after the Vaishnava, after Ramanuja Acharya, Madhvacharya, like that, then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and he gave the synthesis of the four sampradayas. He took the main elements from each of the four sampradayas, brought them into the Gaudiya Vaishnav sampradaya. And he himself took initiation in the line from Madhva. And he took the initiation in the line from Madhva because of Madhavendra Puri. And it was Madhavendra Puri who actually brought the seed of love of God into the line of disciplic succession. He taught the the um, the mood of raga bhakti, worshiping the Lord in, with transcendental feelings, transcendental emotions. So this was Madhavendra Puri's great contribution, and Sri Chait Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to be connected to Madhavendra Puri, and that's why he took the initiation in that line, coming from Madhva. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu established the Gaudiya Vaishnav Sampradaya. Gaudiya Vaishnavism, not just simply preaching Dasharas. And we're not worshipping Krishna like the Pushtimark people. They worship Krishna in the Bala form as a child. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught that the supreme form of the Lord is Nava Yovana, eternally youthful. As a youth, in its eternal youthful form, the Lord performs his pastimes. That is the, how we worship Radha and Krishna. Pushtimar people, they're worshipping Krishna as a child. They simply see Krishna as a child. They'll offer the milk sweets. They'll do different things which you would do for a child. But we worship Krishna as the eternal youthful person. And in this way we celebrate Krishna's pastimes. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did this wonderful service for all of us. We're trying to appreciate the Holy Dham by going around these islands. Okay, thank you very much. Hare Krishna.
will move. Maharaj will move. Kirtan. Kirtan. Okay, Kirtan. 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 राधर शिवा सारी गौर भक्त
जय सचिनंदन 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 गौर हरि जय सचिनंदन गौर हरि जय सचिनंदन गौर हरि जय सचिनंदन Jai Sachinandan Gaur Hari, Jai Sachinandan Gaur Hari, Jai Sachinandan Gaur Hari, Jai Sachinandan Gaur Hari, Hari Bo, 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 Hari B
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 किशोर गोपना कृष्ण विशार हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 हरे
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare
हर कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे हरे
राम राम हरे हरे हर कृष्ण Hare 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 Hare